Hey everyone, welcome into One, so One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. We are going to be breaking Bowman Sapphire. We're going to do two breaks tonight. Just going to do some quick. There's Steve and Dave. There's a commercial. Wow, my computer has turned up really loud. Uh, just wanted to make sure that audio was working, which I believe it is. Um, give me one second. Let me do some quick testing. I'm going to mute that. Give me one second here. There we go. So let's see. Let's just make sure we have audio. I believe we do. But we'll test just to make sure. We have Mark Rosales. He is in the house. Thank you very much for joining Mark. Clark, how are you? Looking forward to breaking two boxes of Bowman Sapphire. So I have watched a little bit of Bowman Sapphire in some of the breaks, and it seems like every box tends to have some color parallel. The autos are make or break, but the one thing I do know is they are beautiful cards. Uh, all of them hold value, no matter who you get. Um, obviously, you're looking for some of the Bowman first cards. Um, and some of the autos, especially if you hit a parallel auto, can be worth a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Um, but we are also breaking the normal Bowman from 2020. Um, and we even have one box of Bowman 2019 for break number one. So should be a pretty fun night We've got Jared Patterson in here. Shalani, what's going on? Started a little bit early tonight. James, how are you? Thank you for joining in. Rebel, our winner of the Ronald Acuna Jr. Rookie card auto to 25 is in the house. How are you tonight? Thank you all for joining. We, we have Deerman here. Um, if you guys aren't following Deerman on Instagram, Deerman is very active on Instagram, so if you don't follow him, definitely follow Deerman there. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing a little bit of Bowman. Had an interesting weekend myself. Um, my wife actually is not feeling well, which in the pandemic is never a good thing. Uh, she does not have cough or fever or anything like that, but she does have fatigue. So out of an abundance of caution, we did send her to get a coronavirus test today. So... Hopefully that comes back negative. I have no idea what's going to happen there, but that'll uh, send your anxiety meter up a little bit. Uh, but we did have a good weekend outside of that. So my wife is resting, the kids and myself, uh, we are absolutely fine. We did three hours of Little League yesterday. I uh, coached two teams. Unfortunately, because we did get a test, the, our rules say that if anyone even gets tested, that we have to stay away. So my son is going to miss his, he's been to like six, seven or eight practices. I forget how many it is, but he is going to, his first game was supposed to be tomorrow. So unfortunately we have to miss that until we get the results of this dumb test. So Rebel, have you not received a package from me yet? You should have received it. Because you won the Ronald Acuna Jr. Rookie Card Auto 225 in the 1,000 subscriber promotion. If you did not know that by now, I'm, I'm surprised you don't know that by now. But yes, you did win that. So congratulations. It should have shown up in the mail by now because I mailed that. And, uh, let's see, if we did that Tuesday night... Pretty sure I got everything out. Well, maybe not yet, because um, I did get some of them out Thursday. Um, so, but anyways, if that should be showing up either, if it didn't show up yesterday, probably will show up tomorrow. So congratulations on that. Um, so, dear man, we are not going to be, uh, I don't mind pitching your channel, but let's not sell while you're on my channel while I'm uh, doing a break. Uh, this is about the break tonight, so if you could keep that to a minimum, that would be fantastic. Uh, we are not in... Uh, we're not going to be doing that tonight, so um, I don't mind having you, but don't be shilling cards all night either. Um, because the people that are in the break are interested in the break. So if, it, if anyone is interested in Deerman's stuff, please feel more than welcome to go over to his Instagram page where you can get all of that information. Um, so 
with that being said, I started a little bit early tonight. I may go a little bit faster than normal tonight, only because I do got to keep an eye on my wife. Um, so hopefully that uh, all kind of shakes itself out here in the next couple days. I'm just bummed that we have to miss the first game. I'm the assistant coach for my son and the head coach for my daughter. Um, and our, our machine pitch team, we've had the team together for a couple of seasons now, and they are... Finally, this year, they are kind of a really good team. We finally have coached them up. I don't know that we're, if it's just that we are not very good coaches and it takes a few years to coach them up, or if it is the fact that it's just that when we first started coaching them, they were five and six, and now they're seven and eight. Um, so now, uh, but yeah, our team is pretty good this year. So I actually was talking to the head coach and saying, hey, we could live stream this thing. I, uh, this thing. I could give you my login to my, youtube page and you could just have someone on the sidelines hold the phone and live stream that but then i thought oh wait we have a bunch of seven and eight year olds on camera and youtube doesn't let you do that stuff so let's see who else do we have in here shalani not sure if i said hi but shalani welcome in san antonio chris what is going on we got texas breaks in the house so texas is well represented um let's see so here's who is in break one just so we can kind of cover off on that real fast Let's see, we've got Polly Junkwax, we've got San Antonio Chris, Zach Freeburn, Jared Patterson, Jeff Pullins, Mr. Urban Card Breaks, Teresa Swift, Clark Sports Cards, Clark Z, Barry from Cards for Days, and Brewers 34 GC in break one. So yeah, Shalani, uh, Jared is in this break. James Palmer, I believe, is in, let's check, I believe... James is in, yes, James is in break two. So James will have break two tonight. Um, just so just so everyone knows, here's who's in break two. I've got Polly. I've got Super Brewers, 34 GC. I've got Zach O in break two. Um, I've got James P in break two, Texas breaks. Jeff R, Jersey 1207. Jared is also in break two. Scott B, Shalani in break two. David H, Mark R, Clark Sports Cards, Zach Freeburn, and Rebel are all in break two. So that's who's going to be in that one. So here's what we will do. Let's see. Let me check and see who is all in right now. Oh, instead I opened up Microsoft Word. So that's a thing. Um, Teresa, welcome in. I hope you had a great weekend. Thank you for joining. Let's see, who is all in here right now? Looks like we've got 17. I think we've got about half the people. I'm kind of waiting for, I haven't seen Zach yet. Uh, Zach has a lot of spots in break one. I'm sure he's really hoping to get the Yankees in this. Um, Zach is working. Yeah, normally he shows up. So, uh, Alex Card Collecting, how are you? Thank you for joining in and watching the stream. Uh, should be a pretty fun night. Like I said, we're going to be breaking. So, break one is going to be the 2019 20 and Sapphire. Break two, because I don't have any more of the 19, um, at least not on hand, uh, will be two boxes of 2020 and 19. So, um, should be fun. We'll see what we get. I almost want to say let's do a box war with box one and two at the end, but we won't do it that way because I'm sure I'll get the cards mixed up. We're going to do it one break at a time. So, so um, we have Jeff R. in the house. Jeff, how are you? I hope you had a great weekend. So here's what we can do. Um, why don't we, I'm going to take break two off of the table for the time being. And... We will at least get spots and stuff randomized. Um, a lot going on in the baseball world. Um, a role this Chapman has tested positive for coronavirus. Uh, we have a few people, I think Ryan Zimmerman. Uh, we've had who David Price. Um, a few other people have opted out of the season, but it does look like the season is going to start uh, come hell or high water. So that'll be interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to it. My fantasy baseball team, you know, I've had a fantasy baseball team that I, our league that I have ran since 2002, 2003. 
Polly is in the house. Polly, how you doing? Um, thank you for joining in. So uh, it's good to get that league going because I started that league way back in 2003. And most of the people I have never met in person. I've met one of them in person, but I have had that league together. We have stuck together. We know everyone purely through a fantasy sports league that started on Yahoo a long time ago. Um, all these people really know baseball really well. Um, and they have taught me a lot about how to play fantasy baseball. Um, I have won that league three or four times myself. So it's good to get the league back together. Really excited about that. Um, however, uh, it'll, I have no idea how to set a league up or how to set a team up for a 60-game season. Uh, I have a lot of young, young, younger people on my team this year, and I think I made a mistake there because I probably should have been riding veterans more had I known that the season was going to be as short as... As short as, as short as it is. So, Polly, we got you in both breaks tonight. So, um, not sure who's watching over the break tonight. I mean, normally with breaks, it's a little bit easier with uh, it's a little bit easier when it's just a break. But we do have a few wrenches in here. Polly being one of them. Um, so, if we get any riffraff, we will get rid of them. Um, as quickly as possible. Uh, so Scott Burke, are there any spots open in this league? I would love to say that there are, but I'm not kidding. This has been a 12 team league since I, I think, I think we are literally in like our 17th or 18th year. I, I don't know how long we've been doing it, um, but there are definitely no spots in that league, that league. And the funny part is we don't even play for money. We play purely for pride. Uh, but some of the, but we take it way too friggin seriously i am in a couple other leagues there actually is a breakers league that i got into that was put on by dragon fan tim i think urban bitg i want to say deafness is in there um i could be wrong but i think that's a 14 team breaker league um so that started up before the pandemic so that one's been on hold um so we're going to get all these going back up here in the next couple weeks which should be pretty fun so Let's do this. We have Polly here. Scotty is in the house. Uh, let's see who else has joined. Richard D., how are you? Thank you for joining in. Like I said, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Mine has been a little interesting, to say the least. But uh, here's what we're going to do. For those of you that are new to the channel, we have a little Pokemon dice here. We're going to roll it twice for each break. The first time we roll it, it's going to be how we randomize teams. Uh, if you get a one, which looks like this, so I think this is a Tapu Koko dice, which is my favorite Pokemon. Uh, if we get a one, we'll roll it again because we got to randomize more than once. But we'll randomize the teams depending on how many times show up on the dice. Then we'll roll it again and we will randomize our break participants as well. And that's how it will shake out. So um, and then when we break, obviously, only because as all good breakers would do, we're going to save the Sapphire for the last part of the break. So we can pull the auto as the last card in the break to end it on a high note. But in the meantime, we'll, broke, we'll break some Bowman 2019 and Bowman 2020, and then we'll get to the Sapphire. So let's begin by rolling the dice for break number one. So here we go. We're going to go two times for teams, guys. So let me bring us all over here. Dun, dun, dun. And let's see. Let me guess. It's gonna it's gonna put my music off. I'm gonna shut the music off for now. Um, I forgot to shut that off earlier. But let's see. There's us in all of our glory. Oh, apparently I'm. We're gonna pause that. Um, that tells you how delayed we are. So here is random. Hold this over here. This is okay. Yes, this is break number one. So here's all our break participants. Randomize all of you guys. Oh wait, now we're gonna do teams first. What am I doing here? Um, teams first. So here's teams. Now, what's interesting about break one is keep in mind we have 2019 in here too. I know most people are probably interested in the Sapphire, but don't forget Bowman 2019 has a ton of great cards in it as well. So we're only randomizing teams twice. So here we go. One and two so we're gonna have the rockies on the top we're gonna to have the giants on the bottom we will throw these guys over here there we go those are going to be our teams 
The Yankees, where did the Yankees fall in there? I don't even see the Yankees. Where are the Yankees? Am I just not seeing the Yankees? Why do I not? Uh, hold on, hold on. What do we? What do we got? They've got to be in here. Um, got thirty teams. Why am I? Oh, there they are. They're right above the Dodgers. Okay, so they're about. So for everyone thinking that they are going to get the Jason Dominguez Super Fractor, which would be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, if we pull that card, I'm literally whoever gets it. Congratulations. We're probably not going to pull that card though. Um, but you never know. So let's go back here and let's do this. And I'm not following chat right now, so if I missed a comment, I apologize. Now we're gonna roll the dice for our participants and we get a six, which I always love to get. I don't know why, but I just feel like randomizing it more for whatever reason, I feel like it brings luck to the break. I could be totally wrong. Um, let's bring up random again. So we'll pull up a new list here. Now we will take our break participants. Throw you guys all in here. We're going to randomize this six times. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I've got Zach on the top, Jared on the bottom. And this will be how this first break breaks down. Let's do this. Breakers. We'll hide this over here. I'll pull chat up. Let's see. Hide. And we will put everything in alphabetical order. So Zach Freeburn does end up with his Yankees. He will be happy about that. So um, let me pull chat up here as well. And then we will take a look. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let me know when I have to re-up on the cash. So Polly, um, it is probably going to be next week that you would have to do that, depending on how many spots you want. Um, I think I still owe you one spot uh this was a very popular break so i didn't give you like a ton in here um but ne w w I, I emailed you earlier this week we'll talk um so let's see um here's what i got i got the angels going to jared patterson astros going to Teresa. Uh, the a's are going to clark sports card blue jays going to jeff pullins Braves going to Clark. Brewers going to San Antonio Chris. Cardinals going to Zach Freeburn. Cubs going to San Antonio Chris. D-backs going to Clark Sports Cards. Dodgers going to Zach Freeburn. I got the Giants going to Jared Patterson. I've got the Indians going to Teresa Swift. Mariners going to Zach. Marlins going to Cards for Days. I've got the Mets and the Nationals going to Clark Sports Cards. I've got the Orioles going to Jared Patterson. Padres going to San Antonio Chris. Phillies going to Zach Freeburn. Pirates going to Clark Sports Cards. Rangers going to Urban Card Breaks. Rays going to Brewers 34 GC. Red Sox going to Polly Junkwax. I've got the Reds going to Cards for Days. Rockies going to Zach Freeburn. Royals going to Cards for Days. Tigers going to Brewers 34 GC. Twins going to Polly Junkwax. White Sox going to Teresa Swift. And the Yankees go to Zach Freeburn. So, trades are open if you guys would like to trade. Um, trades are open, and let's see, who do we have here? Just, wanna, just went back and watched it. I'd actually left because I thought you had gave away everything. Yes, yeah, so, so Revel, you are good to go. Congratulations on that. Um, I, I was wondering if you had watched or not. Um, but you should get that card tomorrow. It went out, I believe it went out Thursday. So it's weird that it didn't show up yesterday, but sometimes with the mail right now, who knows when stuff shows up. Pirates, Mets, and Nats are up for trade. So, Polly, if you are interested in the Nats, the Nats are up for trade. That is Polly's favorite team, as most people who follow the channel know. Polly being our VP of sales and operations sitting in our corner office with sunglasses probably um our sheriff is not in the house yet um i believe that the team zach would have wanted was the yankees but uh so he got the yankees um so let's see Polly will take the nats 
So Polly, Polly ended up with the Twins and the Red Sox. So um, let's see. Clark Sports Cards, if you are interested in the Twins of the Red Sox for the Nats, uh, let Polly know. So Ecom, here's how you get into breaks. Right now, for this break, this I kind of knew that the Patreons were going to sell this one out. I announced all my breaks on Patreon before I announced them on YouTube. Um, there are about 40 Patreon members, so if you get... 10 to 15 people buying into breaks it sells out pretty quick um so the best way to get into a break is to be a patreon member you can be a patreon member for as low as two dollars a month but if breaks don't uh sell out on patreon i do put them on youtube i do put them on my instagram page um so if the patrons do not sell it out first that would be the next place so if you're not subs i believe you're subscribed but if you're not uh just hit subscribe and hit that notification button because i do uh I do do breaks on a first come first serve basis. There are even times, including in this break, where unfortunately I even have to tell Patreons that it is sold out. Um, I, I hate telling Patreons that, but in a break like tonight, that was probably bound to happen. So uh, let's see. Confirm socks for Nats. So we will do that one. So Clark Sports Cards moving into the socks spot. And Polly is going to move into the Nats spot. There we go. Okay, uh, what would you like for the Rangers? So, hey, Urban is in. Urban, thank you for joining in. So the Rangers do have, because it is Bowman 2020, the Rangers actually are not a bad spot at all for Bowman 2020. Um Let's see, Cubs for Rangers. Uh, Giant, I would do Giants or Angels for Rangers. So let's see, it looks like Urban is... Well, I love... Okay, so Urban, if you're not paying attention, here's who has, who has been offered up. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I would do Giants or Angels for Rangers. Cubs for Rangers. Uh, Guild Ticket, welcome in. Um, and then Jared also said, or the Orioles. Uh, Brewers is not here right now. Um, so it looks like you've got, so Urban, you've got a choice of Angels, Giants, Cubs, Orioles for Rangers. So just let us know what you want to do there. Um, and then we'll kind of get this sped up so we're not looking at spreadsheets and random.org stuff all night. So I think after we figure this trade out, unless we see... Um, well, Clark is also saying Pirates, D-backs, and Mets are up for trade. D-backs aren't a bad spot. Mets aren't a bad spot. Keep in mind, we also have 2019 Bowman in here. So for break one, that 2019 is a little bit of a wild card box in that there are definitely some Bowman first from 2019 that we will find in there. So it is not just Sapphire. And keep in mind... The majority of our cards are going to come from the blasters tonight. The sapphire boxes do only have 32 cards. Um, so um, those 2019 and 2020 blasters are going to be the majority of the cards we see in each of these breaks. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, so let's see. Irvin, just let, it, let me know. Unfortunately, I think you're driving and for all we know, you know, no texting and driving. What they did not say is no being in live chats and trying to do trades while driving, as, unless the law is different in Canada, which is very possible. So let's see here. I don't see anyone um, in trade. Dun, dun, dun. So Urban, just let me know. If, I feel like chat stopped. Is it me or did chat stop? Um, maybe it's just me. I don't think it did though because I would have popped it out. Um, he's driving. He's driving, but he already typed. I mean, I already know. I already know that Urban is a multitasker. <laughs> so, so, anyways, um, Urban, I'm going to give you just a couple more seconds and then I think I'm going to close trade. If anyone is interested in the Pirates or D backs, Clark's sports cards is making them available, but we're going to make it fast because we are going to get to break one here pretty quick. So, um, I'm going to say, let's see, it's 9 20. I'm going to give it like 30 more seconds, guys. Um, so, anyways. 
I'm trying to think who Urban would take for those. I don't want to make a trade on his behalf. Um, so Clark Sports Cards is wondering if San Antonio would want to trade the Padres. Um, Gil Ticket, um, how much? I'm wondering, I'm not, I don't understand. How much for what? I'm not sure. This, if you're wondering how much this break was, it was $10. Uh, so San Antonio is holding on. Okay, and I don't know what happened to Urban. So Urban, I think, unless something happens here while I get all this set up um, and we get a comment from you, I'm going to close trades. Uh, however, if something comes through, I get it, you're driving. Uh, just remember, I think it was Giants, Angels, Cubs, or Orioles. Um, Oh, and Polly is saying, give Gil ticket the twins. Okay, I can do that. Gil, what I'm going to need from you is an address um, so I know where to send these because I'm not, I don't know if I've had you buy into a break, but just in case, here is my, uh, Chris Bolton's in the house. Chris, what's going on? Um, thank you for joining. Um, there is my email address so you can uh, email me your address. Um, so that way I know where to ship cards to because I am not sure. But we will put Gil Ticket in for the Twins. And we are going to get to breaking, guys. Chris Micro is here. All right, so we're going to save this off. And let's get let's stop looking at Excel. And let's look at some cards instead. How about that, guys? Um, okay. So, I say it before every break, but I don't do breaks often. I do them about once a week. Um, this is like the first time I've streamed twice in a week in a while, but we did have a thousand subscriber giveaway to get to. So, um, I do want to say thank you to everyone who buys into my breaks. For everyone that watches the channel and joins in the live streams, um, even if you haven't bought in, just for hanging out and stuff, uh, I get that there's a lot of different people you can watch. I get that there's people that are probably way more entertaining than I am. Maybe they're not. I don't know. But I do want to say that I appreciate that you guys hang out with me for a little bit uh, because I know you have a lot of choices and there's a lot of different uh, people to meet in the community. Um, so what we'll do is we will start with the... Uh, let's start with 2019. Why not? And then... Uh, so, I, so, yes, thank you very much for all of you that did buy into the break. Um, and good luck to everyone. And let's see, just want to make sure we didn't get Urban. So, Urban, I'm, st uh, I'm, I'm keeping you with the Rangers at this point because I'm going to break. So, Polly, thank you very much for the generosity. I don't know why I just flipped that box on its side to do that. That was kind of fun. I normally don't do that. I've had a weird weekend. <laughs> so anyways, here we go. Bowman 2019. 72 cards in this pack or box. So we will get to those. Let's make sure I'm going to put these off to the side over here. All the way off to the side. There we go. So we got a nice big area. I saw, um, who was I watching the other day? Cheap Fun Breaks, and he has one of those rollers for Lint. I totally get why he has one of those. It's a great idea. So good luck to everyone that got in the break. We are doing 2019 Bowman first, and away we go. We're going to start with San Diego Padres and Will Myers, Kevin Pillar, Yadir Molina, Sean Reed Foley rookie card for the Blue Jays, it's going to Mr. Jeff Pullins. Now, Jeff Pullins, I still claim, is the luckiest guy I've ever seen in breaks. Uh, here's a Brandon Lau. That's a rookie card. That's a nice one for the Rays. The Rays are a good team to have in this for 2019, definitely. Um, and even 2020 with Wander Franco. But hopefully we can pull a Wander Franco from 2019. So there's a Brandon Lau rookie card. Not a bad one. That's going to be our first top loader. Get that one in there for Brewers 34 GC. Who, what is on the back of that one? Um, recently just rejoined Patreon, so thank you for that. We've got Dakota Hudson, Danny Jansen rookie card, and oh, I mention it 
and look at that <laughs> the fire already a wander franco bowman first chrome out of the very first pack holy smokes that is a behringer of good things to come i believe it could be one of those nights because that right there is the beautiful wander franco bowman chrome first bowman so that'll be the first card in the card garden for sure and that was out of the very first pack so that's kind of awesome uh domingo acevedo is going to be our next card we have an and uh, here's another thing that was interesting about that um did you notice how the chrome cards weren't together on that uh we'll keep an eye on that so there's another bowman chrome anthony k there's a nice Will Smith prospect and Jared Kalanick to round out that pack. So really nice pack to start off the night. Uh, Jared Kalanick, Will Smith, Brandon Lau, Wander Franco. I mean, and the Wander Franco is a first Bowman. So that one, the first Bowman, by the way, obviously going to Brewers 34 GC. So he kicks off the night with a bang. And we'll continue on. We've got a Kyle Wright rookie card, a Michael Givens. Matt Carpenter, Mikhail Franco, Belle, Miguel Cabrera, and look at this one, a ready for the show. This is going out to the White Sox. This is going to Teresa Swift. This is an Eloy Jimenez, ready for the show. Like that one for sure. Um, interestingly enough, I don't think I have ever pulled this card. Um, I've seen it. I don't think I've ever pulled it. So that's the first time. And I don't know what's on my top loaders. I, it is from an open box, but I've got like these little white. They're kind of all over. It almost looks like dandruff. Um, I promise I washed my hair, but that is a nice Eloy Jimenez. So we'll add to the card garden there for 2019. And this box is starting off pretty nice. Esteban Floreal. We've got a Blaze Alexander. Now, I do not know. I have never seen this. Unfortunately, this is a Bowman Crow's first Blaze Alexander, but look at our printing error right there. That is not supposed to be on the card. That is an odd, here, let me, I'll get it. I don't think it's as, there we go. Do you guys see that? It's kind of hard to pick up, but there's definitely a splotch, unfortunately, because that is a first Blaze Alexander for the Diamondbacks, which is a very nice card, but the Clark Sports cards, unfortunately, it came out of the box that way, so there's not much I can do about that. Uh, Ryan Valade, Bowman Chrome, and then I've got Ronnie Marusio, Bowman First, and Dane Dunning. So let's see. Wander greater than Jason. I would agree with that statement, and I think the talent pipeline agrees with that statement, but we'll see. We've got Jose Abreu. It looks like we've got a green chrome coming up, which is fantastic. Chris Archer, Marcus Stroman, Christian Stewart rookie card, Louis Gui, uh, Guillaume, uh, Guillaume, uh, Guillaume, uh, Guillaume, maybe that's just Guillaume, uh, Jake Cave, rookie card and mj melendez we'll keep the green until the back i believe that's a top 100 but we'll see uh joey wentz a uh, miguel amaya that is a nice one for the cubs the cubs going to san antonio chris this is a first bowman chrome as well so a uh, miguel amaya amaya is definitely one of the cubs better prospects if you ask me um i believe he's on the 60-man roster as well so Miguel Amaya signed way back in 2015 as a free agent. Um, but Amaya is a real nice prospect for them. Uh, we also have a Carter Keyboom. That is a prospect Bowman card. So there's the Keyboom. That's going out to the Nats. That's going to Polly, who took the Nats in on trade. Let me catch up here. Uh, Zach Freeburn. You are here. He's arresting people. Zach, I'll make your night a little bit better after having to arrest two people. You do have the Yankees in this break. Congratulations. Um, and let me just see. Let me see who else you have here. 
Uh, if you give me a second, I can sort it and tell you who else you have because you do have a lot of teams in this one. You have the Cardinals, the Dodgers, the Mariners, the Phillies, the Rocks, and the Yankees. So you arrested two people, which is never fun, I'm sure, but at least you have the Yankees in a Sapphire break. So good luck with that spot. And here we go. We've got a Cole win. There's the MJ Melendez and our... Green is going to be, oh, it's a talent pipeline, which is even nicer. And whoa, look at this. This has been a fantastic box. This one is going to the Astros. This is going to Teresa Swift. This one has Jordan Alvarez, Forrest Whitley, and Seth Beer. So a fantastic green talent pipeline. And this one should be, if I'm not mistaken, it's, yeah, there, there's the number. I was 72 out of 99. So this Bowman 2019 box, real nice. Um, there's a 72 out of 99 green parallel for Forrest Whitley, Seth Beer, and Jordan Alvarez Astros Talent Pipeline. Beautiful, beautiful card there. What a nice, that, that's a nice looking card for sure. And we've still got three packs to go. And this is only the first box. We've still got Sapphire. We've got a 2020. So this should be, this is starting out on a really, really nice note. How about a Shohei Otani, a Jose Ramirez, JT Realmuto, Chapman, Haniger, Lindor, Yusnel Diaz, Chrome, and an Alex Verdugo top 100 for the Dodgers. That is a nice one. Uh, doing my Monday night junk wax Google meetup. Uh, so Polly, Monday night should work now because I'm not going to be at a baseball game. Uh, for those of you that joined late um, or weren't in at the very beginning, I shouldn't say late. I started early. Um, the uh, I was supposed to be coaching my son's first t-ball game or uh, machine pitch game tomorrow night, but my wife is ill, so uh, we had to take her to go get a test today. I, we, I, she doesn't have any of the normal coronavirus symptoms other than she's just really tired, uh, but she's been that way for a couple days, so unfortunately, we have to stay indoors until we know if she is positive or negative. I think everything's fine. Um, She's just basically resting and hanging out in bed. Our next card is another nice one for the Mariners. This is a Julio Rodriguez Bowman first. So another, this box has been amazing for a blaster box. Um, Polly says Dustin went to it. Well, that's what I was saying, Polly. Now that I will have, depending on what time it is, once I get the kids to bed, I will have nothing to do because just to be safe, um, or maybe it's just for a little bit of a break. Um, I have actually told my wife that if she does think that she has this stuff, that she should stay in her room. So that way the rest of us don't get sick. So she's actually been in her room. So if she's going to do that until we get test results back, hopefully it comes back negative. Um, I, I have no idea if it will or not. I believe it will. Um, we've got a Kevin Smith and a Heliot Ramos as well, not to mention the Cal Quantrill. Um, but yeah, I'll have nothing to do after the kids go to bed tomorrow night because I was supposed to be doing that game, which I was really looking forward to. But now I can't. That's that's the league rules. If she tests positive, the whole league gets shut down. That's what really sucks. Okay, so here we go. Mookie Betts, Ozzy Albies, Ramon Loreno. Oh, by the way, the Julio Rodriguez went to Zach Freeburn. Ryan Barucki, rookie. I've got a Chance Adams, rookie. A Justice Sheffield rookie. God, that's a lot of rookies in a row. There's a Rookie of the Year favorites, Colby Allard. Now, he did not win Rookie of the Year, obviously. That's going to our Braves owner, Clark Z. I've got a Taylor Widener. A Bowman first, Noel V. Marte. Nice one there as well. That's also going for the Mariners. So that's going to Zach. Oh, and look at my wife is in the break. So everyone, welcome Julia Phillips. She's sitting upstairs, hanging out with the dog. 
my wife julia phillips has joined a break so everyone say hi to julia hi julia um evan white bowman chrome jonathan duplanty a and a logan webb who now has a rookie card in the very next year so logan webb shooting through the giant system yeah i do believe the update is going to be a fantastic set as well so there's a bowman first logan webb and our last one from 2019 is going to be let's see let's see we, what we can get in this last box of 2019 we've got can't be a 2019 break guys without a little bit of cedric mullins in your life so that's going to our orioles owner jared patterson jonathan lewisaga rookie card Inel de los santos zach Grenke, eugenio suarez who suarez is a fantastic player he does he does not get much hobby love but suarez was just chosen a couple days ago as the dark horse to win mvp for this season brian anderson and if you look at his numbers from last year there's a nice chrome jared kalanick that is also going to the mariners so the mariners cleaning up congratulations on that zach um we've also got for the is this, who is this going to be ian anderson bowman 30th anniversary for the braves um so shalani there's no 19 for two because you actually would have to have a second box of 19 to be able to do 19 in the second break um i just didn't have a box so i'm out of 2019 this was my last blaster of 2019 bowman um if i get more we'll include it in the future but it is what it is. I would have loved to have had an, another one, but I just don't. Tristan McKenzie, Royce Lewis, that's a nice one for the Twins, which is going... Oh, by the way, I put... Hold on. I got to change something here real quick. When Guild Ticket got in, I uh, got the Twins. For some reason, I just wrote Twins and not Guild Ticket. So let me do that before I forget. Uh, so that one is going to Gil, the Royce Lewis. We've got a Ryan Costello and a Ryan McKenna to end the 2019... Bowman. So David H, thank you for reaching out to my wife. Now that I know my wife is watching, I better be on best behavior. She's probably mad that I said maybe I sent her up there for a little bit of a break. But my wife gets my humor half of the time. Um, the other half, she goes, you think you're funny, and I don't think you are. But half the time she laughs. So there's that. So a few of the big hits out of this box. We got a Wander Franco, Bowman first Chrome, very cool Wander Franco there. We've got a Miguel Amaya, Bowman first. Uh, probably my favorite card of the box was the Forrest Whitley, your Dan Alvarez, Seth Beer Talent Pipeline number to 99. We did get the Eloy Jimenez Chrome and the Julio Rodriguez Bowman first as well. So now we will get on to. the box of Bowman 2020. So this is another blaster box. And then we get to the big poobah, the Sapphire. Dustin, can you do me a favor? Send me, uh, send all my Mariners in the break to Shalaney. So you're just telling me to give Shalaney the Mariner spot. Now, does that also count for Sapphire? Because I have to ask that. Because you never know what happens in Sapphire. So is that just everything excluding Sapphire or including? Because if it's including, I'm just going to put Shalaney's name on, on the Mariner spot. And we'll just call it at that. If not, um, because I know on the Sapphire spot, um, Guild Ticket, so this is all part of, so all of the spots tonight, there's actually only two breaks. This is still part of break one. So break one has still got these two boxes to go. Um, so everyone has already bought into this, and break two is already sold out. Guild, the best way to get into breaks is to become a, is to become a Patreon, but do you don't have to, but the Patreons get first dibs on this, and being that there are 40 or so Patreon members, um, it's kind of one of those things that they mainly sell out on Patreon. But in the event that they don't, I do post them on YouTube. Um, so let's see. Uh, okay, so Shalani is getting the Mariners gifted from Zach. So 
We, people are in the giving mood tonight. We've had Polly give the twins. We now have Zach giving the Mariners. So I've got Shalaney in for the Mariners on this whole entire break now. Thank you very much for that, Zach. That is very kind of you. Uh, appreciate that. Shalaney, be sure to share the love back to Zach. I know that you we all talk on Discord and stuff together, so uh, I'm sure you got a couple cards you can throw his way for that. Um, and away we go onto Bowman 2020. A blaster here, a blaster there. Hopefully it's as good as the last blaster. That last blaster was really nice. Okay, so here we go. Bowman 2020. What I found, my final thoughts on Bowman 2020 is it has now been out for a few weeks. And look at that. We got a Gavin Lux right on the back. Um, it has now been out for a few weeks. What I have found is it's I, it's a great product. I think it's a great set. Um, it's my favorite set of the 2020 year so far. But what I have found is in opening packs, it is a very inconsistent um, thing to open. It is very feast or famine. Um, so it's interesting. The blasters seem to be okay. I was not as impressed with hobby as I thought I would be. Ramon Loreno, especially the jumbo boxes. Um, the jumbo boxes, I felt like the odds were really long. Gil Patterson with a 99 cent super chat. Thank you very much for that, Gil. Appreciate you joining in and watching the stream. Um, and if you guys have not checked out Gil, Gil actually hangs out on a lot of people's channels, so definitely check out Gil. Uh, we've got a Mike Yastrzemski, a Willie Adamas, a Casey Mize. As you guys know, I'm big on Casey Mize. Um, so a nice one there for the Tigers, which is Brewers 34 GC. Uh, oh, man, I am telling you, if a Dominguez... If a Dominguez it anything Sapphire comes out, I'm gonna go nuts. Jordan Adamas, or jo that's not, that's Jordan Adams. Um, we've got Aaron Shortridge. That's a Bowman first for the Pirates. There you go, Zach. Although this card isn't yours, but that is an Alex Manoa. And our first, oh, look at that for the White Sox. Teresa, congratulations on this one. A Luis Robert Chrome. And this is the prospect card, not the rookie card, but a Luis Robert Chrome to start off the box of 2020 Bowman. The blaster there. That's a nice one. We've got Shea Lane Gears, Bowman Chrome for the Braves. <laughs> Don't, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, you ain't kidding, Zach. I will meet up with you if we pull that. The chances of pulling it are probably long, but you never know. Randy Arena, and of course, Jordan Alvarez, so you can guess the card behind it. So our Astros get a Jordan Alvarez, which is also Teresa. So Teresa's having a nice little break spot with those White Sox and the Astros. So we've got Jordan Alvarez and Gavin Lux going over to Zach Freeburn. And that was all in the first pack, guys. Um... So, right as I got done saying, I felt like the packs were kind of inconsistent. Bowman says, how dare you talk bad of me that way? And immediately says, here we go. How about a Gavin Lux, a Luis Robert, and a Jordan Alvarez all in the same pack? Um, tells you what I know. <laughs> so, um, next pack is going to be... Chris Bryant. Let's get this focused. There we go. Cattell Marte. Sean Murphy, rookie card. A Luis Campusano. That's going out to the Padres. Uh, that is going to San Antonio Chris. Nice one there. That's Bowman Prospects. A scout. Bowman Scouts Top 100. He is number 96. Damon Jones. Bowman first. Nice one. Andrew Vaughn for the White Sox. So is Teresa making hay. So, Teresa, is it Teresa or Teresa, or do you care either way? Is it with the long E or the short E? I've always wondered that, and I always feel like I'm maybe, I'm maybe saying it the wrong way, and then I think I go back and forth on it, too. So, is it Teresa or is it Teresa? 
So there we go. There's the Andrew Vaughn. We've got Nolan Gorman, Jazz Chisholm Chrome, Cody Hosey Chrome, Jordan Yamamoto, Shohei Otani, and Lucas Giolito. Gill ticket. So whereabouts, uh, if you were one hour and 40 minutes from Columbus, that means you were either in West Virginia or you were in Ohio. Um, So whereabouts are you from if you are an hour and 40 minutes from Columbus? Bruce Dar greater all on the Twins, not on the Dodgers. We've got Zach Collins, rookie card. Nice one. Again for the Sox. Adrian. Now, everyone says it's Morjan, but I think it's not pronounced Morjan. I think it's, uh, I forget what the pronunciation is, but I was watching Jabs the other night, and it is not Morjan. It's like, it's it's more, it's, it's like more, uh, I almost said moron. Maybe we'll just call him moron. Adrian Moron. Um, Adbert Alzale, rookie favorites. That's for the Cubs. So you were in Kentucky. So yeah, that's, uh, so you're, you must be east of, of, uh, Cincinnati then. All right. Next one is going to be Ian Anderson, Hunter Green, Jared Kalanick, 2020, Cal Mitchell, and Tim Kate for our Chromes, Jose Urena, Francisco Mejia, and big Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for our Blue Jays. That's going to Jeff Pullins. Vladdy's second year card. Next pack is going to be Seth Brown. So Jared is from West Virginia and I know Jared is from West Virginia, too. There's Shane Bieber, Cody Bellinger, Jeff McNeil, Franklin Perez, Elliot Ramos, and we have a sky blue. We'll just do this one now. It's going to be, uh, let's see, sky blue for the Yankees. So this one is going to Zach. It is a... Devi Garcia, number 27 out of 499. Not the Yankee we're quite looking for, but not a bad one either. So Devi Garcia, sky blue, paper parallel to 499. I believe, as I've opened up blasters of these, you hit basically one of these a box. Um, so they're not that hard to pull. And they're not in every box, but they are not impossible. Let's put it that way. Uh, Dylan Carlson. Luis Garcia Chrome. Jake Flaherty. Alex Young. And Nick Solak. So it's Teresa. Okay. So it is with the long E. Teresa. Okay. Great. That... So it's always one of those things I have to ask. With uh, um, I've worked with people with the name Teresa, Teresa, and you, they're basically spelled the same way. So it's, you always have to ask because you always feel kind of dumb if you've been pronouncing their name wrong for months on end. Uh, so there's a Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. That's going to San Antonio. Chris Blake Snell, Scherzer, Jose Altuve, Daniel Lynch. Tristan Lutz, uh, Lutz, Logan Davidson. Our Chromes will be Alex Kirilov, like that one for the Twins. So that's going to Gill. And I don't know if you guys saw the next one as I put it off camera, but whoever got the Marlins, who's our Marlins owner? Barry? Barry, how about a JJ Blade Chrome Purple? Very nice card here. Number 24 out of 250. Look at that card. 24 out of 250. JJ Blade, purple parallel, going out to Barry from Cards for Days. Beautiful, beautiful parallel of very nice prospect, JJ. So, congratulations on that one. That is a beautiful, there we go. JJ, that is nice. Cool, cool card. All right, so I've also got 
a Mauricio Dubon rookie card, a Michael ba uh, Bays rookie card, and Travis Demerit rookie card to round out that pack with the Tigers going to Brewers 34 GC. Okay, last pack out of the Bowman 2020 Blaster, and then we get to Sapphire. And Teresa, once again, hits a Luis Robert, this time with the rookie card. So nice rookie card there. So she got the Andrew Vaughn, two Luis Roberts, one of them being Chrome, so just, and the Jordan Alvarez. So already, even without the Sapphire, she's sitting pretty. Um, we've got an Austin Nola, a Logan Allen, Hunter Green, top 100 for the Reds. That is going to Barry as well from Cards for Days. I did my good pronunciation, however. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We've got Xavier Edwards, Ruben Cardenas, Esteban Florio. Our chromes will be Aaron Shortridge Bowman first for the Pirates. Pirates uh, is, did I read that right? Pirates is Clark Sports Cards. I almost said cards for days. So, but that is going to be an Aaron Shortridge Bowman first chrome for the Pirates. We also, for the Rays, have a Matthew Libertore. That is going to Brewers 34 GC. And then we have, to round out this box, John Means, Dan Vogelbach, and Bryce Harper. So that is our Bowman 2020 blaster. And now we get to the moment everyone's kind of, I bet you've been waiting for. Um, so this Bowman 2020 ba Blaster basically belonged to Teresa, but we did get a couple nice parallels out of there and most of the big rookies. I don't think we got Boba Shep, but we did get Gavin Lux, the JJ Blade, very cool card there out of 250. Purple parallel, the Debbie Garcia to numbered to 499. The Sky Blue parallel, the Luis Robert Chrome, the Jordan Alvarez rookie, the Luis Robert rookie, and the Andrew Vaughn prospect. So really nice blaster. Right as I got done saying, you know, sometimes they're up and down, I would call that one an up one for sure. And now we get to the moment we've all been waiting for. So Bowman Blasters, uh, uh, the Bowman Sapphires have been going for a, a lot of money. They originally were available for, what was it, 150 I think it was. I believe they are going for anywhere between 350 and 400 right now, which is just unbelievably ridiculous. Um, however, the cards you can get in here, there can be monsters, um, and it does not just depend on it being a Jason Dominguez or not. Um, there are plenty of autos, parallel autos, even some of the base sapphires are worth quite a bit of money. So, there are only 32 cards. I wish everyone good luck. We will see what we can get into here. And so without further ado, I haven't opened any of these. I got two boxes. And I was going to keep one for myself, because I'm selfish. But then this first break sold out so fast, I said, I'm going to make a lot of people unhappy if I don't figure out another box of Bowman Sapphire. So I threw my personal in. So um, which one of these was going to be my personal? I have no idea. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to say whatever one was the better one was going to be my personal. But hopefully they're both great. So good luck to everyone. These are beautiful cards. I'm sure you guys have watched uh, some channels rip this stuff. Uh, they are just beautiful cards. I do like them more than last year's, only because they are blatantly sapphire this year. So let's get right into it. Good luck, everyone. There's going to be four cards per pack, and we'll see what we can do. I'm almost as nervous opening these as I'm sure some of you are watching them be open. So we start with the Red Sox and a Tristan Casas. And look at that for the Blue Jays. There's the Alex Manoa. And I will sleeve these, obviously. In fact, we've only got 32. Let's just do the right thing and sleeve them right out of the gate. Um, 
We've got Tristan Cases. We've got Alec Manoa. That is a beautiful one. I can tell you right now that the Blue Jays, Jeff Pullins. Jeff, if you want to get a hold of Zach, Zach wants this card. So there's the Alex Manoa, just a beautiful, beautiful sapphire. Um, we have Joe, uh, Joey Bart. Every time I see Seth Beer, I now think Joey Bart. I wouldn't be surprised if I pull a Joey Bart at all tonight. Seth Beer um, for the Diamondbacks. That is going to Clark Sports Cards. Nice one there. And Orion Rollison for the Rockies. We had the Rockies tonight. Uh, that's Zach Freeburn as well. So that's our first pack. Yeah, the non-blue sapphires were kind of, yeah, they were basically atomic refractors. That's what was odd about them. And what's interesting is, like even the other night when we did the auction, I did a sapphire card thinking it was an atomic refractor. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, my Lord. Who has the angels? Jared Patterson. How about a Joe Adele for you? That is a beautiful, beautiful Joe Adele. Nice one there. Joe Adele, obviously, on my channel. He's going to get the top loader for sure. Um, and we're going to be real careful with these cards all night. Beautiful Joe Adele going out to Jared. Congratulations on that one. We've got another nice prospect in Nolan Gorman. So that is going to the Cardinals. That is going to Zach Freeburn. Nice one there. And then we've also got uh, Marco Luciano for the Giants. Sweet one. And that is going to Jared as well. And finally, a Bowman first, or first Bowman, Jaciel De La Cruz for the Braves. That is going to Clark Z. So a nice first Bowman, Jaciel De La Cruz. Obviously, any first Bowman, if it's Sapphire, will be definitely sleeving those ones up and putting those in top loaders. So we've got De La Cruz. And now our next pack. Joe Adele is going to be the next big thing. Oh, Urban Card Breaks. If I call your name, you'll know. Um, okay, so. See. Here's a Gus Varland. First Bowman. That one's going out to our A's owner, which is Clark Sports Cards. So Gus Varland, first Bowman Sapphire. And... I might have to get more top loaders tonight. We'll see. Got plenty. So there's the Gus Varlin first Bowman. We've got Jared Kalanick. That's a beautiful card right there. Um, oh, the, man, these cards are really nice. Um, I will say that when you see them, these look way better than they did last year. Um, but... Not actually about how they look. It's about the players that are on them. Cody Hosey. That's a nice one. And for Urban Card Breaks, someone get me a comp on this one. Um, this is the Cody Hosey for the Dodgers. Someone get me a comp on the on the Baron Laura first Bowman, because that one is going to Urban. Urban is driving in the car and can't hear us, but I believe the Baron Laura should be worth Probably not a ton, but probably more than covered his spot in the break. Um, even as a base card, I'll bet you this card um, more than covered his spot in the break. And I know someone by the name of BITG who would love to have this card. And this one is going to Urban. So, um, no, Jared, you are getting the Joe Adele. That is just happening. Uh, everyone's getting the Sapphire for buying in. Um, I appreciate the offer, but definitely keep the Joe Adele. Um, 
That is that you you got to keep that with these sapphires. I get that not everyone can afford to buy a box of this stuff, especially on the secondary market. And not to say that you can't or if or you can, but I actually like the fact that I was able to do this break for the cost that I could do it for um, and do it for Patreons. That is awesome. So please keep the Adele. But there's the Byron Laura first Bowman Urban. If you did not hear that, yeah, seventy dollars. So there you go. The Byron Laura base sapphire is $70. So very nice card there. And we are only, was that two or three packs? I think that was three packs. So here we go. Next pack. Pretty much any of the first Bowmans are gonna hold pretty good value on here. So we've got Glenn Allen Hill Jr. for the Diamondbacks. That's a first Bowman going out to Clark Sports Cards. A nice one there. We still have our auto that we'll be looking for. So there's the first Bowman. We are definitely, I probably should have pulled out more top loaders, but they're right behind me. That'll be easy. Elliot Ramos for the Giants. Giants owner was Jared Patterson. And we've got Mason Denenberg for the Nationals. So that one's going out to Polly. And my neighbors are making some weird noise outside. They're pounding on something and it's really, out. And then we also have for the Rockies a Grant Levine prospect card as well. So Laura, 75 to 85 bucks. So Urban, you got the Byron Laura. So, so you got the Rangers and you got the, the Byron Laura. Keep calling him Byron, it's Bayra. Uh, first Bowman Sapphire. It is a beautiful card. I get your driving, but when you see it, you can come back and watch this, and you will see a beautiful blue cracked ice sapphire. Um, I want to make sure our auto. Okay, so here we go. How about for uh, our Marlins, Barry? How about a J J Blade? So there's a Blade. I bet you this card is worth more than the cost of admission. Um, and that's the whole thing about sapphire. So. It's just a really nice, uh, it's just a really nice, Adele is from Kentucky too, huge fan of him, can't wait for his rookie card, yeah, well, we may get Adele's rookie card and up, well, I don't know if we will or not, update comes out probably pretty soon, they're probably going to hold Joe Adele for series 121 would be my guess, um, so there's JJ Blade. let's move these off to the side so we can make more so there's J.J. Blade, very nice one for Barry. Logan Davidson for the A's. And oh boy, you guys probably see it below, but we just made Barry's Night. We just made Barry's Night. For there is, Barry, is Cards for Days here? Barry, are you here? If you are, you now need to speak up. Because that, my friends, is a Bobby Witt Jr. Pullman First Sapphire. So huge, huge pull here. Um, now, I will be honest. I don't know if this is actually on the card. But if you see down here, there's like, I'm not going to be the one to pick it off. I feel like it. I'm going to try one thing. Yeah, that is definitely attached to the card, but it is extra. I don't even know if my camera is going to pick that up. That is not on the corner of the card. The corner of that card is sharp. It's just a, a, a rough cut, if you will. I'm going to try and get a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, let me see if I can get it up against my uh, something black. Um, see how that's like off the card? It, the corner of it is actually perfect. But Barry, when you get this card, that will be on there. I'm not going to touch it. I I know how to pull those off. I would use tweezers and just pull it because it's just basically a little bit of a paper hair. The corner on that thing does look perfect. It's just the, uh, the um, there's a little bit of extra paper there. So we've got Laura and Wit. Um, Wit Sapphire, and this one is, a, yeah, you are right. This one is off-centered a bit. And that probably explains why it has the little paper down here. But nonetheless, um, we are definitely going to hit the foghorn for that one. 
and I don't even care. I am putting that in a one touch for Barry. Because that is a beautiful, beautiful Bobby Witt, and it deserves it. So, Barry, you can come in, and when you take this uh, out, you can check out the that little paper fringe, if you will. I don't know exactly what to call that, uh, but you'll see it when you see it in there. It is not. Uh, the good news is it isn't on the card. The bad news is, is yes, the centering on this is off. So this is probably not a PSA 10. But definitely, I don't know, probably a $250, $300 card. Um, so there's Bobby Witt. And then for the Yankees, we have Esteban Florial. So a nice one there. They're pretty much all off center. I have a Bobby Witt Panini Auto. Yes, that is a fantastic card, Polly. Um, yeah, it is a fuzz bottom, and that will pull off. I'm telling you. Okay, so 125 ish for wit, which that actually seems a little low if Baron Laura is at 80. Okay, it does look like our auto is in here, and it does look like it'll be a base auto. So we're actually going to save that. I'm just going to put that right there for now. Um, I don't normally do that. I normally just run with the autos, but we have to keep the suspense up on Sapphire. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be, I, I couldn't, I actually don't call myself a breaker, but if you're going to break cards, you can't be a good breaker and hold the auto unless it surprises you um, until last on a, on a box like this. So we've got Brian Campusano for the Mets. Our Mets owner is Clark Sports Cards. We've got a first Bowman for Nico Holtzer. That is for the Rays, and our Rays owner is Brewers 34 GC, so another first Bowman. And a nice one again for the Rangers. We've got a Josh Jung. So that one's going out to Urban. Josh Jung was one of the, I believe it was 10th or 11th, no, 8th, 8th overall last year. So Josh Jung. And we've got, to round out that pack, a Grant Little for the Padres, and that is San Antonio Chris. Grant's Breaks is in the house. Grant, how you doing? Thank you for joining in. Shy City Pulls is in the house. How are you? Okay, next pack and then we'll get to the auto we'll see what is in there we'll see if we can pull color out of this box uh, out of this pack you don't get color in every box but i have seen color it's not uncommon and speaking of color oh boy there is an orange which i believe is to 25 so we'll pull that one to the back so we're gonna have an orange and our auto coming up after this here is evan white for the mariners that orange has me nervous. That orange actually has my heart racing a little bit. Because um, I do not always open boxes like this. So we also have Kanan Smith. That's going to the Yankees. So that's going to Zach. I have not seen what the card is. I do not know who it is. Taylor Trammell is going to be our reveal card. That is going to the Padres. Our Padres owner, is San Antonio Chris. We'll do a quick one. I don't want to slide it. It is going to be Elarius Montero. It is numbered to 75. That is going to our Cardinals owner, Zach Freeburn. A beautiful Montero. That is just a sweet, sweet orange. Numbered to 75. That is a fantastically bright card, by the way. Um... Come on. There we go. A fantastically, and of course, it, these cards are a little thick. There we go. Look at that card. And of course, my lighting, which when I get 700 bucks, I will definitely, definitely be getting more lighting. But there is Montero. Beautiful to 75. And now we have our auto. It should be a base auto. We will see. Um, 
And right on top, we have an Adley Rutschman for the Orioles. That is for Jared. That card's probably worth more than the card of it, uh, price of admission as well. We'll flip these over. Uh, we've got a Nick Bennett, Bowman first for the Brewers. That is going to San Antonio Chris. This has been a very nice box so far. Um, and we don't even know what the auto is. So here we go. Another first Bowman, and that is going to be Alvaro Sejas for the Cardinals as well. So that is also going to Zach. So Zach buys six spots and ends up with a few Bowman first when, and ends up with the Montero to 75. There's the Adley. And let's see. Okay, so here we go. It is going to be XE. And it is going to be a Xavier Edwards Sapphire for the Padres. And that is going to San Antonio Chris on card auto. Xavier Edwards. Not quite sure how much that one would be worth. But the good news is it is, it is a first Bowman. Um, we'll take a look and see what his draft position. Take a look at his numbers here real quick. And this will be the end of break one. We still do have break two coming with a whole nother box of sapphires. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's take a look. We have Xavier Edwards. He is, uh, let's see, born in 99. So that he's a young prospect. That is good. He's a hitting prospect. So that's even better. So he's checking off those boxes. Um, he was drafted in round one, 38th overall. So Xavier Edwards, I'm guessing that this is actually a better, uh, a pretty pretty nice card um i don't know much about xavier edwards however drafted in 2018 38th overall xavier edwards congratulations on that one san antonio chris beautiful let me just make sure that that was indeed san antonio chris padre san antonio chris yes um beautiful one there so a first round draft pick from 2018 Zach Freeburn says, Polly, yes, you are in the next break. Um, Zach Freeburn says, about 200 bucks. Is that one really about 200 bucks? Let me know. Um, let's look at comps on that. So that, oh, wait, and then I, I have the Adley here as well. I mean, the Adley, obviously, no slouch. Um, let's get the Adley in a sleeve. So that is the, holy smoke. So if that's a box of Bowman, chrome sapphire um and we're gonna do a whole nother one overall a really really nice break uh only one sold for 180 so the xavier edwards has sold for 180 so the question is do we do this? Now, do I think it's worth 180? I don't know. It, it might be. Um, that's the whole thing with these kind of higher end sets. You never know what they're going to work. But if it's worth 180, San Antonio, Chris, let's do it for you. Let's do two. Let's play two. All right, here we go. Only because I might, I, hopefully I have enough of these. My Lord. I, I know I have more, but they're buried. Got to maybe refill the I'm doing this a lot lately. Maybe got to refill the old uh, cookie jar, if you will. So let's get Xavier into a one touch for you. Because if he is worth 180, even if he's worth 100, 100 is worth a one touch, right? So there we go. Xavier Edwards graduates to the one touch with Bobby Witt Jr. So you guys, that was break number one. Fantastic box of Sapphire for sure. That was a really fun one. And we, we're only halfway done because we got a whole nother box to go and we got more Bowman to break. So we will get right to it. Let me get this cleared off. So here's what we got out of here. Um, not to mention all the ones that we sleeved up. Um, we sleeved everyone, but we did get the Adley Rutschman. Beautiful. We did get a few Bowman firsts. So we've got a Nico Holzer first. 
Glenn Allen Hill Jr. first, a Gus Varlin first, a Jaciel De La Cruz first. And then we ended up with a J.J. Blade. Nice one there. We've got the first Baron Laura. Nice one there. We've got Joe Adele. Just a beautiful Adele there. We ended up with the Montero Orange, numbered 17 out of 75. The Bobby Witt Jr., just a gorgeous, gorgeous card there. And finally, the Xavier Edwards Auto. Very, very nice box. Definitely, definitely a nice box there. So you guys, thank you for everyone that got into break number one. Um, we are going to get to break number two now. Get that fired up. Let me save everything off. Um, okay, so, so Zach says, well, slight disappointment in the break. Maybe I'll get lucky again in break two. You never know. Um, Jason lurking in break two. Yeah, so the Jason, I think, if we get a Jason out of the box, out of box two, it is, I think it goes for around 300, well, it goes, I, I think it goes for around 350 bucks. Um, some of them is sold for more than that, but with the price of cards and the, how fast they go up and down and stuff, it's probably about a $350 card. It is probably a card you want to hold on to, too. I get a lot of people sell cards because they go, oh my gosh, it's worth 400 and they go, what if this prospect fails? Um, I don't know. I say, what if he doesn't? Um, but that's just me. So, speaking of break two, there's a whole nother box of Bowman Sapphire. And this one will have two boxes of Bowman 2020, uh, only because I don't have another box of Bowman 2019. Um, I don't know if I would have put it in there. I was trying to think like, do I just do two Bowmans? I wanted to keep it all Bowman. Um, so unfortunately, you break what you got. So this one will be a little bit different than break one, but really, we're interested in this box in the middle. So let's do this. I'm going to save off this. I'm going to close down break one. Thank you again to everyone that got in. Um, I think we passed around the Sapphire cards pretty evenly, which is nice. Um, so here we go. Um, basically, every one of those Sapphire cards worth a couple bucks at least. Um, so here we go. In this break, we have... We have a lot of different people in this break. So this one was bought up a little bit differently than the first one. We've got Polly. We've got Super. We've got Brewers 34 GC. We've got Zach O. We've got James P. We've got Texas Breaks. Jeff R. Jersey 1207. Jared Patterson is in this break as well. I've got Scott B. I've got Shalaney in this break. David H. Mark R. Clark Sports Cards. Zach Freeburn. And Rebel 3353. So Scott says he would absolutely sell the Dominguez. Um, my thing is, is if you sell the Dominguez and let's say two, three years from now, Dominguez wins a rookie of the year. That Dominguez may be worth 350 now. That Dominguez, if he wins rookie of the year, it's worth about 3,500. And that's my thing. Like if you're going to get a card like that, it's, I, and I get it. It's tough. I, and, and you never know. He could, but he could be a total bust, but in the event that a when when they say a can't miss prospect, um, which of course we've heard that all before, but I mean the guy plays for the Yankees. If that guy hits, I'm telling you, that's why everyone's collecting him. Is if he does hit as a prospect, the fact that he plays for the Yankees, the fact that he's so young, the fact that he has all the hype around him, even if he goes out and plays moderately well, his cards will be so overvalued. Uh, so, so, um, yeah. And, and so, and that's the whole thing. I mean, does he have to retain the value? All he has to do is have one good rookie season when he gets called up. Um, and really it's not even one good rookie season. It's like one good month. Um, when you look at what Mike Trout did, the second he came up, um, not even as, as Harold that is, uh, Dominguez will be, um, when you look at what he did when he came up, you to retain value, obviously you have to stay good. But if you were to sell in his rookie year, if he starts out fast, I'm telling you, I I do not think there is a I don't think there would be a card that would be worth that would be hotter than that. So, but anyways, let's get into break two. Um, here we go. We're gonna randomize our teams three three times. So let's do this. Um, 
three up. Okay, we're good to go there. Let's get back over to random. Teams going. All right, three times, guys. Here we go. One and two and three. All right, Brewers on top, Cardinals on the bottom. Where did the Yankees land? The Yankees land in spot number 12. Although, if you ask me, the team I would want is the A's. Um, and I've, I'm sure I've said it on here before, but the uh, Pasan, or Pausen is a lot of people have been calling him, but I'm pretty sure it's Pasan. Um, Pasan is the guy I like in this set. Um, personally, um, and his autos are worth a ton. Okay, so there we go. Let's bring it back here. Let's roll these dice up again. Let's do with it. Okay, so now we're going to break for our, par our randomized for our participants. Our participants are also going to be randomized three times. Here we go. Let's go back here um, and go back to a random. Here we go. I've got. Okay, so we're going to randomize this three times. So here we go. One and two and three. So I've got Scott on the top, Zach O on the bottom. And a paste. There's R. Do this. I'm going to hide. So no one's confused. We'll hide that. We will alphabetize it. Our Yankees end up going to Jared Patterson. Um, Angels going to Rebel. Astros, uh, let me pull up chat here too so I can see what's going on with chat. Trades are open, by the way. Um, so here we go. Texas Breaks gets his Astros. Nice one there. David H. ends up with the A's. Zach Freeburn with the Blue Jays. Braves going to Jeff R. Brewers going to Scott B. Cardinals going to Zach O. Super gets the Cubs. Diamondbacks going to Clark Sports Cards. Dodgers going to Zach Freeburn. I've got the Giants going to Rebel. Um, I've got the Indians going to Super. Rebel also gets the Mariners. Jersey gets the Marlins. The Mets going to Jeff R. Nationals going to Texas Breaks. Orioles going to Shalaney. Got the Padres going to Brewers 34 GC. Shalaney gets the Phillies. Uh, I've got the Pirates going to Clark Sports Cards. Rangers going to Jared Patterson. Rays going to Clark Sports Cards. Red Sox going to Mark R. Reds going to Jared Patterson. Rockies going to Polly Junk Wax. I've got the Royals going to David H. I've got James P going to, uh, or the Tigers going to James P. Um, and, uh, and I'm wondering if James P, uh, I'm going to have to look that up. No, James, uh, yeah, James P. That's right. Um, and then I've got David H. Uh, getting the Twins. Shalani gets the White Sox. And finally, Jared Patterson going to the Yankees. So let's see what we have here. Zach has a couple messages retracted. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what those are about. Um, D backs and Pirates up for trade. Had them in the first break. Um, did you really have them in the first break, too? That, um, the chances of that are 1 in 120. Um, so this is really long odds. Um, Reds are potentially available. Um, if Zach O is here, Zach O is a big Reds fan. Not sure if you're here, Zach, but um, if Zach O is here, uh, the Reds are potentially available. Zach, who did you end up with? You had the Cardinals. That's probably not. That's probably a pretty fair trade. Um And keep in mind, in Bowman Sapphire, it is only prospects. There are no rookie cards, stuff like that. It is only prospects. Um, but out of the Bowman regular boxes, you obviously get the rookie cards and all of that. The Brewers are available. Uh, Jeff R. says he would like the Reds. Jeff R. has the Braves, the Mets, and I believe that's it. Um, so, yeah. Um, so Braves and Mets. So if you want to trade for the uh, 
Yeah, you are right. Except for, uh, Ro well, Robert has his prospect card. Or does he, does he have a rookie card in Sapphire? Um, that would be interesting. Braves for Reds. Let's see. Braves for Reds. If that is confirmed, just I need one of you guys to say confirmed on that. Uh, enough for Tigers at Clark Sports Cards. Uh, Clark, Nats for D-backs. Robert has, oh, so his rookie card is in Sapphire. That is interesting. Um, I think I actually did see that the other day that someone pulled one of those. Um, and yeah, who was talking, someone was talking about that the other day. So that's interesting. Well, maybe we'll pull one. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um, that would be totally cool. <laughs> so, so uh, Zach O says the Cardinals are available. So Zach O, the Reds are also available. I do not see um, that the Reds have been traded. So um, who was it that was? Who, uh, hold on, let me go back. Who was looking? Who had the Reds? Um, Jared Patterson has the Reds. So um, he was saying that they okay, but Reds and Braves are, were just traded. So that is confirmed. So. Um, Jared trades out of the red spot and goes into the brave spot. Make that trade. Jeff R moving out of the brave spot into the red spot. We'll save that off. Okay, so let's see. First, first cards, that's fine. Uh, Texas Brakes, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Clark Nats for so Nats for D backs is that confirmed? Nats for D packs is confirmed. Okay, let's see. Nats that's Texas Breaks trading out of the Nat spot and into Diamondback spot. And Clark Sports Cards and out of the Diamondbacks into the Nat spot. So we have a little bit of a hot stove going on. Um, James Palmer straight up says, I will buy the Pirates from you. Um, imagine uh, if this happened when the Yanks sucked and you pulled the Derek Jeter. That actually is a great point. But the funny part, that's the one thing I love about Bowman. Um, like, I remember all the way back to, like, when I was a kid, um, I really liked Bowman 1992. And Bowman 1992, when it, which is now, like, an iconic set for Bowman. Um, when it first came out, Everyone like said, what a crappy, what a crap, you know, Bowman's crap, da, 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 da. And it's just another way for them to make money. Bowman 92 packs could be had, you know, this was back in the nineties, uh, early nineties. So you would have had, um, packs going, there were packs going for like three, four five bucks, like stadium club. And then there was little Bowman 92 going for a buck a piece. And everyone wanted the Manny Ramirez. And there was a couple other great rookies out of there, but there was a little guy by the name of Mariano Rivera that when you pulled that card and I probably pulled five of them because I bought a lot of them. Um, I probably pulled five or six and it, I, and I remember going, who is this guy in the weird clothes? Like, and that was what, when you were a kid, you were like, what is this guy wearing? You had no, I had no comprehension of the fact that, of how big the world actually is. And that, by the way, a guy like Mariano Rivera, the clothes he was wearing were very much, you know, the clothes that people wore, um, in Latin American countries and all that, and you know the bigger, brighter colors. But it, I, I remember we used to make fun of Mariano Rivera by going like, "Look at this guy's shirt. Who does he think he is?" And the card was worth like next to nothing. The only reason it was worth anything is because it said the Yankees on it. Um, and now that is the card you want in that set. And I feel like in every Bowman set there is a card like that, um, where there's a card that's maybe not worth that much money and the guy gets good and he's unheralded and when you first open it and there's the ones that, and there but there's always the ones that people find later on um and there's always the players that kind of rise to the top um and Mariano Rivera is a great example of that in Bowman 92 and by the way that Manny Ramirez card even though I pulled the gold foil parallel rookie and at one point it was worth like hundreds of dollars um, yeah, that card's worth about five bucks now. <laughs> so, and the Mariano Rivera base worth a little bit more. 
So anyways, um, okay, so that's confirmed. Uh, nobody needs Cleveland for trade. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say trade's going once. Well, I'm going to, if I actually type it correctly and not in, there we go. Um, all right, so we are going to get to this. Trades are going once, guys. Um, let's get to, it looks like everything has slowed down here. Um, our, if you're buying the Pirates, that's fine. Was there a Matt Mercer pulled in the 19, uh, 2019 first break? Brad, there was not a Mercer pulled. Um, if there was, we would have held it aside for you. I guarantee that. Um, any takers for the Twins? So last chance, if you want the Twins, um, let's see. Uh, Right, Polly, and that's exactly right. And back in the day, in 92, when you pulled his little rookie card, it was very much just like, uh, it was very much just, it was another card in the set. Everyone was going for Manny Ramirez, and who was the, there was another one in that set. Um, for me, it was like, the, like Tim Salmon was in that set. He was big. Um, and you're going, so there's always one card that just, you know, that's why, that's why when you hear a lot of people say, a lot of people are like, Hey, uh, uh, Zach Freeburn with a $5 super chat that says, good luck, everyone. Thanks for another awesome night of breaking, Dustin. Sadly, no road trips for me tomorrow. More to the light fund. $5 super chat. Thank you very much, Zach. And I say trades going twice. And we will put it towards the light fund. We do need a better light in here. Um, we need two better lights, and I know exactly. I know the. I know the setup, and I might just put it on a credit card. I don't know. I, I think it's a bad time to be putting stuff on credit cards, though. Um, if you remember back to two thousand eight, if you have credit card debt, you should probably get rid of it. Because um, I have a feeling the bank's going to start saying, "Yeah, you owe us money, and you don't have credit anymore." So I'm trying to ride credit free for as much as I can. Um, okay, so here we go. Trades are closed, guys. Um, trades. Close. Okay. So Zach is done with his paperwork, so now he can concentrate on the break. He's got two guys sitting in a holding cell, waiting to go through the system, which will take them about 18 hours um, until they get themselves a nice little shower. And by nice, I mean terrible. <laughs> and they will get themselves a nice little jumpsuit. And they will get themselves a nice inch and a half inch mattress that rolls up that is about six feet long and they can sleep on a metal bed. And that, my friends, is about what the experience, if you ever break the law, is going to look like for you. Um, and you'll see a lot of concrete. You normally see a lot of concrete, too, is my guess. So anyways, here we go. Bowman time, guys. Good luck to everyone that got in the break. Uh, I said it for break, break one. I will say it for break two. I know you guys have a lot of different um, have a lot of different options on buying into breaks. So it is always humbling that you guys will spend some time with me buying into my breaks. I will try my best to pull fire, but as you know, it is all luck of the draw. But if we don't pull fire, we will always try and have some fun. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and if there's ever any comments or anything that you have, any questions, you can always get a hold of me. I try and be as responsive as possible. Um, and I really just kind of like hanging out with you guys and seeing some cards. And hopefully we can see some sweet sapphire. But before we get to the sapphire, let's see if we can get lucky with a few Bowman 2020 blasters. Good luck, everyone. And away we go. Another Bowman night on one cent sports card. So I think we have it's an optic coming out here in a couple weeks. Um, it's kind of a weird release month, especially after June. I think Donruss optic is coming out. Um, so we'll see what the future breaks are. Um, I actually have something kind of cool planned for next week. Um, okay. We've got Asia. On, uh, I think it's, I'm going to have to look up the, now that I know it's not pronounced Morjan, um, it's something weird. It's like Morajan or something. Um, Seth Brown rookie card, Shane Bieber, and a Nico Horner for our Cubs owner. That's going out to super. Like that one. I like the, the rookie, uh, rookie of the year favorites this year is a really nice looking insert. Um, so there's Nico Horner. Um, 
And then we also, right behind that for the Braves, for Jared Patterson, we've got a Christian Pache. And for our Yankees, holy smokes. Um, for some reason, I wasn't ready for this card. But for the Yankees, there is Jason Dominguez. We've had a lot of talk about him already tonight. So there is a Jason Dominguez paper. That's going out to Jared Patterson. Congratulations on that one, Jared. Jared's had himself a nice little night, especially with that Joe Adele. Now he's got the Jason Dominguez, and he's got the Yankees moving forward. We've got a Travis Swaggerty, a nice Hunter Bishop chrome. Hunter Bishop was a top 10 pick last year. That's going out to our Giants. Um, that's going out to Rebel. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh boy, I have been missing out on chat, so I have not been... Uh, now nah, it was shoplifting. They got released. They got released. Shoplifters, man. Come on. You got to teach them, teach, them, <laughs> teach them shoplifters a lesson. Byron Mata, uh, Chrome. We've got Shohei Otani, Lucas Giolito, and Jose Urena. Um, just the usual Walmart, Walmart. Yeah, it's amazing how many people try and shoplift from Walmart. And a lot of people probably get away with it. Um, but... You know it's a problem. I mean, Walmart has like a every time you leave a Walmart, it's it's, it's like leaving Fort Knox, man. They're like, here you have to walk through this really long line. Then you got to go. Then you got to show your receipt. It's like I didn't know I worked. I this was a Costco. Uh, Cody Bellinger, Jeff McNeil, Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. Um, that's going to Brewers thirty four GC. Who went around the horn on this break? Um, I've got a nice talent pipeline for the Cubs. Uh, Trevor Clifton, Keegan Thompson, Cole Roterer. For super, we've got Bowman first, Chris Valamut. Aaron Ashby, Bowman first. Mason Denenberg. Jeremy Pena, Bowman first for the Astros. That's going to Texas Breaks. Nice one there. Orion Mountcastle. Bowman Chrome, nice one. Francisco Mejia. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for our Blue Jays, which is Zach Freeburn. And Jake Flaherty. All right, next pack. And keep in mind, we got two of these blasters, so we could get another Dominguez. Hope maybe we get three Dominguezes. Hell, let's do four. Hell, let's get that Super Fractor. If, I wonder if the Super Fractor has been pulled yet. Um, okay, here's Blake Snell. Scherzer. Altuve. Luis Robert, rookie card. Four. Shalani. So Shalani gets his first Luis Robert of the night. Uh, Teresa had good luck with the White Sox spot in break one. So we'll see if Shalani can keep up. Um, so there's the Robert. And right behind that, we have an Anthony Volpe, um, which is going to the Yankees. Jared as well. Uh, this has been another kind of hot card that people have been into. Zach Freeburn heading out for a bit. All right. Well, if you come back for the Sapphire, we'll see you then. If not, have a good night. Um, So there's Volpe. Then we've got Alec Thomas. Brian Campusano. There's a nice one. Look at this. And so, so the White Sox stay hot. There's the Andrew Vaughn Chrome. Like that one. So that one also going to Shalaney. So nice Andrew Vaughn. Third pick overall last year. Um, I like Andrew Vaughn as a prospect personally. And he's in a good organization right now. The Sox have a promising, but watch out for the, you know, with baseball starting, we now finally get to, what? We finally get to start talking baseball. I'm telling you, watch out for the Sox. The, everyone's picking, they're like, ooh, sleeper team, 60, 60 games, it could be anyone. The Sox might surprise a lot of people. We also got a CJ Abrams right behind that, which is another nice chrome. Um, I have a feeling you'll see the Sox be better than everyone thinks in a very weak 
Uh, AL Central, Alex Young, Nick Solak, rookie card, Mauricio Dubon for the Giants. Um, yeah, I just think that you'll see, I mean, the Indians are okay, but their window's probably shut. The Twins are good, but I also think the Twins overperformed last year. Um, so we'll see. But I have a feeling the Sox, if they can start hot, there's an Austin Nola rookie, a Logan Allen rookie, Justin Dunn rookie, a Brennan McKay, number 14 in Bowman Top Prospects. That's a nice one for the Rays. That's going to Clark Sports Cards. Um, I have a feeling that the White Sox could easily win that division if they, let's say they start out like 18 and 10. Um, they could be up by five games by then and just run away with that division. Um, Kybert Ruiz, Taylor Trammell, O'Neill Cruz, Chrome, Daz Cameron, Chrome, Michael Baez, Travis Demerit, rookie, and John Means. And cards for days with a $5 super chat. Barry, very sweet card here. Now that you're here, let me show it to you again. Um, it is really nice. It is really nice. There's, a, there's, there's two things. One, I'm sure you saw, there's this little extra piece. The corner is absolutely fine. Um, it's not actually even on the corner. It's like off to the side. I'm not going to pull it off for you. You can pull it off. And although our centering is not perfect, it's not, ter it's not terrible. Um, but apparently all of the sapphire wits are a little off-centered. So this one is heavy to the right. Um, but nonetheless, just a beautiful, beautiful Bobby Witt. So congratulations on that one. And thank you very much for the generous super chat. Uh, we will put that into the light fund as well. Um, and so hopefully we can pull a card like that in this next Sapphire break. Um, Twins and Tribe, uh, the Tribe, okay, so... Are the tribes really a good team still, or are we just, are we just, uh, are we just resting on our laurels with the tribe a little bit? The the pitching is not as good as it used to be. Uh, Lindor is probably not going to be around by the end of the season. It all depends on how they start. There, the I, I think the Indians are a bat are are twenty games away from a, being a rebuilding team. Dylan Cease, um, and. I just don't think they're as good as people think they are. And living in Ohio, um, I mean, I, it, I, I don't see what everyone else sees. Um, Nico Horner, um, they're a decent team. Like, I, I wouldn't call them a bad team. That's a nice Nico Horner for the Cubs. That's going to super. Um, but I would not say that, I definitely would not say that the Indians are the favorite of that division. It's still the Twins. Uh, but the Twins, I think, are... are overachieved last year that's why i think the white Sox, um their their problem is is michael kopech's not going to play this year um and they don't have enough pitching keone Cavaco, jordan belazovich dylan carlson shirt and apostle for the rangers bowman chrome first um rafael dever says i'm getting divorced from jab's family um not sure why but to each their own. That's fine. Um, why are we getting divorced from Jab's family? Um, the Mariners could be good. I, the problem with the Mariners is I think the AL West is so stacked right now. Um, Daniel Vogelbach, Bryce Harper, Hunter Dozier. But the Mariners, That's uh, it would be awesome to see the Mariners make the playoffs just to end the drought. Um, I wouldn't like it because that means the Angels don't get there. But... Um, It'll also be interesting to see what the Astros do. Um, the boy, the Astros get lucky because they would have had a hell of a season with every. They they still would have been being booed everywhere they went. There's Pete Alonso for the Mets. Um, Dabs announced a a super chat from Tess Tickle. <laughs> so I assume Jabs is streaming something right now. Um, Okay, so here we go. Paul DeJong, Kevin Biggio. There's a Soto for the Nationals. Um, but yeah, the um, so I don't know with the with the Mariners. The Mariners, at the all, all, that's I follow the AL West, and I'll tell you, all the teams have 
kind of gotten better. And I think the Astros have come down to earth. There's Rollison, Nate, Nate Pearson. So that that's probably the toughest division. I actually, if I had to pick someone, there's a Kristen Robinson. There's a nice Miguel Vargas for the Dodgers. That's a chrome. Uh, who had the Dodgers in this break? Uh, Zach Freeburn. Um, if I had to pick someone, although I hate picking them, I'm picking the A's. I actually think the A's might... They're another team that, look, It's it, it, whoever wins divisions, they're going to have to start hot. I feel like the A's could be one of those teams. The A's have been good the last couple of years. They have a real solid team. They're really underrated. Um, they've kind of hung with the Astros, even when the Astros are good. All those teams are going to have to beat each other up. That's why I the A's, if I don't pick the Astros, because I think the Astros are, are the pick, um, Trevor Story, plus the Astros have something to play for. Um, they got to prove everyone wrong, Baez and Reynolds. So that is our first box of 20. So I believe that we will actually see. Um, yeah, so I guess if we picked it, I would still pick the Astros. But I, if I had to pick that division, I think you've got the Astros, the A's, and everyone else. Um, I, I think the Angels will be better. I think the Angels are going to score a lot of runs, but the Angels are also going to lose a lot of games 10 to 8. Um, cause they don't have enough pitching. Um, and then I believe that we will, with the Mariners, with the Mariners, it's the hitting that I don't think there's enough of. Um, although they've gotten better in that department and their pitching is okay. Not great. Um, obviously the pitching class of the AL West still the, still going to be the Astros. Um, so we'll see the, the AL West is tough to pick though. Um, Okay, so now our next box of 2020 Bowman before we get to Sapphire. I feel like I'm talking too much about the Angels. So why? So we were breaking up from... Well, video did he do testicle a lot? <laughs> Jeez, poor Jabs. Uh, <laughs> I like Jabs. They, I actually believe... I, I, I like watching a guy that you know likes baseball um, and that you know was a baseball fan way before he became anyone of, you know, going on YouTube and breaking cards. That guy, no, that, that guy has had season tickets to the pirates. He's a huge pirates fan. Um, and, and it's weird. I guess I would say most subscribe on more, more problems. Um, but, but, um, he's got, he's got so many subscribers and he's, it's that lesson of like you gotta you just can't please all the people all the time, man. Um you just gotta try the best you can, but I think he means well. Alright, here we go. Aquino. Dylan Carlson in a trade auto from Absolute. That's cool. One of one. Dylan Carlson nonetheless. There's an Aquino for the Reds. Going to Jeff R. A Rose Arena. There's Jordan. So we should have, and we didn't get a Gavin Lux right after that. We'll see if it's after the break of the top 182. So there's a Jordan. I'm going to have to get more top loaders here in a second. Um, there's Jordan. So we've got two of the big rookies right off the bat Jordan and Aquino. See if we can pull. We didn't get any parallels in that last box. Fidel Brujan. Aquino didn't make the Reds. He had to have made the 60 man, right? I didn't hear that. Um, he had to have made the 60 man. There's no way he didn't make the 60 man. He was on the team last year. Uh, Joey Cantillo, Jackson Rutledge. Now he may be sitting out. That I don't know. Um, Jackson Rutledge, first round pick for Nats. Taylor Trammell. Hunter Green, Chrome. There's a John Diaz for the Rays. First Chrome. That's going out to Clark Sports Cards. So my wife says she didn't want me around. Kids, and how about that? One Burt by 11. <laughs> and how about that? One Burt by 11. <laughs> oh, that's actually really good. Yeah, poor guy. I mean, that all came out. I If you've ever known anyone that went through a divorce, man, that is... It's sad, um, but that is totally how it went down, which is kind of funny. Goslin Yu Chang. Uh, and let's see, we've got 
Nick Senzel split. Well, Nick Senzel is good. And here we go. There is the Gavin Lux. So we are pulling all the 2020 rookies from Bowman 20, which is nice. So a nice Gavin Lux, which is funny because the Jordan Alvarez and Gavin Lux normally come together. You rarely see them apart, but we just saw it happen there. But they were just a pack or two apart. So there we go. We'll see if we can get the Bichette now. Jordan Yamamoto, Shohei Otani. There's another Aquino. This is the Rookie of the Year favorite. Um, let's say change. Um, yeah, I would be really surprised if Aquino is not on the 60-man roster right now. That would really surprise me um, because he was almost rookie. Not almost, uh, but he would have been. He was basically, I'll bet you he was third in Rookie of the Year consideration in the NL last year. Ulrich Bordjowski, uh, Pena, Dylan Carlson. Tyler Freeman Chrome, Logan Davidson Chrome, Tim Anderson, Whit Merrifield, and Yelle. Uh, the NL did not really start using a DH. They're doing it this year and this year only because of the virus and the shortened season, um, which is interesting. I think that they should just make that a permanent change, but I get we have baseball purists. Uh, but when you look at what the DH has done for the American League, it just makes it for a better game. Who wants to watch a guy that can't hit a ball strike out? Uh, not me, um, but we do have a green in here. I thought we had a kind of thicker card, so we'll see what that is. We've got Kristen Robinson, Gunnar Henderson, Nate Pearson, Brian Hayes. That's a nice one. Nick Madrigal for the Sox. Ramon Laureano. Mike Yastrzemski. Lily Adamas, Lucas Giolito. I feel like we have pulled Lucas, Lucas Giolito and Jose Urena in like every pack. Uh, we've got Francisco Mejia and our green is another talent pipeline. Um, and this one is going to be for our Mets owner, Jeff R. And it is Brett Beatty, Andreas Jimenez and Ali Sanchez. And this will be numbered nice, clean number 75 out of 99. So a nice Green parallel talent pipeline going out to Jeff R. Nice one for the Mets. Numbered 75 out of 99. I do like the talent pipeline cards. No? Like that one. Sweet. All right. Next pack. Okay, Akinu did make the 60-man roster, roster, but it's not with the 30-man roster at Great American Ballpark. He reported with the other 30 players. Um, like what? Um, yeah, I'm not big on watching. I, I mean, I get it. It's, it, I've always watched the American League, so I'm just used to the DH. Um, my big knock on the DH is, you know, it's makes the manager's job the easiest job in the world. Um, there's Vladdy Guerrero. Uh, we've got Jake Flaherty, Alex Young, Nick Solak. Because when you've got that pitcher in the sixth inning and you're maybe winning by one run or maybe you're down by one run, but it's a close game and you and he's coming up, it's called do you squeeze another inning. Like, and there's a lot, there's a lot that goes managerial into having the pitcher. Nick Lodolo, that's a nice one. Javier, Hans Corrales. Um, we've got Tristan Lutz, Ronnie Marusio, Chris Bryant, Tel Marte, and Sean Murphy for the A's. Um, 60 man outfield. Yeah, there's, there's a trade waiting, waiting to happen there. Um, but... Aquino, if they break camp and they actually start the season, Aquino is going to be on that roster. He was too good last year not to be on that roster. Uh, Mauricio Dubon, um, Michael Bays, Travis Demerit, and we have a Ronnie Mauricio Bowman Scouts 100 for the Mets as well. So that's going out to Jeff R. And we're still looking for that Boba Shet. Let's see here. Uh, Jazz Chisholm. John Diaz, first Bowman. Zach Thompson. Nolan Gorman, Chrome. 
Hybert Ruiz Chrome. And Bruce Star Graterall. Zach Collins. And Adrian Morjan. We pulled him like four times tonight as well. Um, all right, last pack, and then we get to Sapphire. Here we go. Good luck on the last pack, Mojo, everyone. We've got John Means, Daniel Vogelbach, Bryce Harper, and there's Boba Shet. If you, if you, if you, if you build it, he will come. There's Boba Shet. This is the 1990, a uh, little off centered here, a little heavy to the left, uh, but this is the 1990 Bowman uh, design. Nice Boba Shet rookie. So we'll take that one. That one is going to Mr. Zach Freeburn. Then we've got Oscar Gonzalez, Aramis a Demon, Hunter Bishop, Drew Mendoza Chrome, Shane Baz Chrome, Seth Brown Rookie, Shane Bieber, and Cody Bellinger to end that blaster. So we end up getting the four big rookies as they were defined at the beginning of the season. Jordan Alvarez, Aristides Aquino, Gavin Lux, Bo Bichette, and the Talent Pipeline, along with a few others as well. And now we're going to get back to Sapphire. Get these moved here real quick. Now, it's nervous time again, guys. So let's see what we can get out of here. So... Shogo Series 2 card is really cool. Um, I actually I actually wonder with, with Series 2, once the season gets started and maybe into next year, that a lot of those rookies that are in Series 2 that no one's heard of yet, if some of those guys start bubbling to the top, if Series 2 actually starts gaining a little bit more traction, um, it was really popular before it came out, and then, every, and then it kind of flopped uh, because of there being a lack of big rookie names. And, it, and the unfortunate part for the card manufacturers is you're going, man, basically ever since 2018, there's like four or five big rookies in every set. And all of a sudden there's like, well, yeah, now there's not one, which actually is not all that uncommon. There's just been a good string of young rookies um, and they've kind of set it up that way. But I, I have a feeling series two over time is going to be better than everyone thinks it is right now. But what do I know? Um, we'll see what some of these rookies I'm, I don't think it'll be as good as Series 1. I think 2020 Series 1 is going to go down as a really great set now. Um, so anyways, here we go. Bowman, Sapphire. Um, yeah, the Robert RC Sapphire would be dope. Let's see what we can get here, guys. Good luck, everyone. 32 cards. Um, before Actually, before we get into this, one second. What? More top loaders because I know I'm going to need them. There we go. Let me get these open. So sorry to just have the box sitting here waiting. Um, the Nico 30 year was off from the center of the first box. Yeah. Um, I will say one thing. I don't know what Tops' problem is this year with centering. Um, what was the... Oh, okay. So my, um, this was earlier today. I had a bunch of blasters that I had ordered pre-order from Walmart for series two. Um, they showed up today on a Sunday, which was kind of nice. Um, and I broke one just cause I hadn't opened a blaster yet. I'm sitting around with the kids and so I broke one and I pulled, uh, I didn't pull much out of it, but uh, the little coin card that you get in there at the end was a Gavin Lux coin card to 50. I don't have it down here, um, but the Gavin Lux coin card to 50 and it was, it was uh, a beautiful, beautiful uh, card. And it's like the gold parallel, the blue, I forget what it's called, but it's numbered to 50. But the stupid coin, it's got, it's, it's like all scratched up and everything came, comes out of the pack. It's like literally missing flakes of paint or uh, of ink from the coin. 
it just the coin looks absolutely terrible it's a terrible print you're going why would you even make these cards if you know that this is going to be how they end up looking the card itself if it was like mint condition would be worth like 30 bucks and you're going quality control and tops right now it's probably because of the virus but i'm telling you quality control at tops is terrible this year uh a lot of uncentered cards a lot of damaged cards i've seen a lot of people not getting autos and boxes and stuff that they should have got um so I don't know. My guess is it's that they're running a smaller staff um, and they're just not catching as much. All right, so here we go. Sapphire time, guys. Time to concentrate. Good luck, everyone. What are we going to find? Let's see. Well, how about a Sam Huff for the Rangers? The Rangers are a decent spot in this. Sam Huff will obviously get a top loader. All the first Bowmans are going to get a top loader in this. But Sam Huff, pretty nice one. He's actually been gaining some steam in the hobby. So there's a Sam Huff for our Rangers owner, which is Jared. There we go. We've got Austin Beck for the A's. Our A's owner, David H. Come on. We get it in there without. There we go. So, Austin Beck, I've got a, a, a Tyler Freeman for the Indians. Our Indians owner, Super. And I got to get more of these. Open. Second. Let's see, we've got... got to get more penny sleeves. You guys are breaking me. I tell you, it is amazing how many penny sleeves I go through. Um, I go through penny sleeves a lot. Um, Brady McConnell, the good news is, is I met a guy... That I can get penny sleeves um, and top loaders. I met a guy who can get them and he gives me a fantastic price on them. And he's always got them. Um, he's in like the top loader business. It's hilarious. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. Moving on. We've got, oh, I like this one. Oh, we've got an orange too. Holy snaky. Um, and we've got a Casey Mize. So we're going to move that. And we've got a Sixto Sanchez. Um, okay, so we've got an orange coming up. Um, yeah, and the tens will be worth more, but and maybe it's all by design that way. Tops and PSA and cahoots with each other. There is Sixto Sanchez. I'm a big Sixto fan. Um, I've got a Joe Ryan Bowman first. Yeah, on there. No, Joe Ryan. That is going out to the Rays. That is a Bowman first. For Clark Sports Cards. And these top loaders. So Joe Ryan, first Bowman. And let's find out, should we hold the orange to the end? Let's not do that. Let's just find out what the orange is. Let's just find out. Um, okay, guys. So the orange will be the 75 if it's like the last one. So the good news is we did get... You're not guaranteed to get any parallels in the box, but we did get it. So let's find out. It is going to be for Detroit. So this will be going to James P. And is it going to be a Casey Mize? Nope. It is going to be an Ulrich Borjowski, or as I call him, Bojangles. Um, but it is a Bojangles first Bowman. It's really Borjowski. Um, and we'll do some quick stat checks on him um beautiful beautiful parallel here i have no idea how much this card would go for um let's see born in 98 so he's 22 years old he was actually born in south africa signed as a free agent for the tigers in 2016 um has an ops of 659 in 224 games that's not bad at all um 101 rbis uh, slugging, not very good, 372. So, uh, but he does have 
did have 10 home runs and 100, uh, well, four, mm, I mean, not terrible numbers. I'll bet you he's got a lot. I'll bet you he's fast. Um, sounds like a fast player to me. But he does have a little bit of pop in that bat. So we've got Borjowski for the Tigers. Thanks for the $300 super chat. Really appreciate that. Yeah, appreciate. Um, the, the, the appreciate. Yeah, that's. I, I think that's because he's... Um, here we go. And the Casey Mize, which I really like Casey Mize. I can't wait to see what Casey Mize does. I have a feeling Casey Mize is the next um, big thing, big pitcher that people are talking about. So we've got the Borjowski. Let's see what else we can find. How about a Debbie Garcia for the Yankees? Kind of like just having them off screen here. Um, we've got Tanner Hoke for the Red Sox. Our Red Sox owner, Mark R. Bojangles OPS is awful. <laughs> yeah. Um, that just me. Well, yeah. I bet you he's fast. He's got to be fast. That's got to be what it is. Okay. Then we have an Adam Hall for the Orioles. That's going to Shalaney. And finally, for the Braves, we have a beautiful Christian Pache. Pesh or Pash or Pache. That one is definitely, this one's going out to Jared as well. That one is definitely getting a top loader. No idea how much that one's worth, but probably at least the price of admission. Um, all right. Let's see how many packs we got. We got five more packs to go. And here we go. We've got Tim Kate. Going to the Nationals. That is Clark Sports Cards. We've got an Anthony Cabello going to the Yankees. That is a first Bowman there, so that is going to Jared. Jared making some hay on the Sapphire box. Um, White Sox, Robert, R.C., Shalaney is begging it. We will try and get it, Shalaney. There is the Cabello. Let's do one better. Let's get the auto. Um, there is, come on, give me a good... The Cabello, first Bowman, not quite the Yankee we're looking for. Then we've got the Ronaldo Hernandez. For the Rays, our Rays owner is going to be Clark Sports Cards. I'm just like grabbing top loaders. I probably don't need them all though. And our next card is going to be Jason freaking Dominguez. Booyah. Chrome. Well, I don't even know why I'm grabbing that. I, I knew it was coming, guys. I saw it when I opened the pack. I had to try and play it as cool as I possibly could. Uh, but that is the Jason Dominguez. That is going out to Jared. Jared, congratulations. Um, beautiful, beautiful card here. Um, and... We're obviously going to get the one touch for that. Um, it's about a three hundred and fifty to four hundred dollar card. Um, so, just a beautiful Jason Dominguez, and we still have four packs to go, guys. Um, let's get Jason in there. Pack fresh, right to the one touch. There he is. Beautiful card. Oh my gosh. And let's see. Uh, the centering. Oh, wait. You guys, look what we can do. I forgot. I I posted this on the uh, on the uh, page the other day, on the uh, uh, Patreon page. Guess what I got? I don't know if you guys can see this. You probably can't see it. I probably got to do it like this. Um, but I got the Grade Master 
card centering tool. We can actually look and put this right over the card and it's going to tell us how centered it is. Um, I forgot that I even had this. Um, I have not, I was going to make a video out of this, but screw it. Let's just use it. It's really hard to read, by the way. Um, this may not be the best thing for the camera, but I can tell you right now that this card is, um, when I look at everything, it, it does work. I will say that. So you are, it normally works when you're flat on the card. I've never done it in a one touch before. Um, okay, so your line right there, you're basically a three and call that a, it's that middle line right there. It is a three, four. So three, four to the side. And here's how you read this thing. Um, if you're three, four to the side, Let's see what that says. You should be able to see. So 4-3. So that is a 57-43 cut. So it's a little heavy. But if you're bold, I don't know if you guys, uh, if you're bold, that means you're good in the eyes of, that means you are good in the eyes. Now, I only did left to right. I did not do top to bottom. You also have to do top to bottom. But you were basically a 4-3. So you're 57-43 on your, on your centering on this card, which means you are within, well within the range of it being a centered card for um, uh, PSA. So a 4-3 Dominguez, perfect corners, perfect you would also have to measure the back the back has to measure out just as well so you've got four measurements you have to make but there is jason dominguez a beautiful beautiful let's put dominguez let's let's put dominguez close let's make let's let's make dominguez there he is now let's see we're still looking um you're calling 60 40 top to bottom it does look a little bottom heavy um so we could, but we could also actually measure that. Um, so, but the card grading tool, it does work here. Um, but it's kind of hard to read. My only complaint is it's hard to read. They need it. What they needed to do was print it in like three different, uh, there's like a bunch of little lines, but they're all black. And the only thing they did to make them different is like made one dotted and one and one and the next one over solid. They needed to make it like red, black or something like that, or like a blue and a yellow. So you could just tell the difference. Uh, Cause it gets kind of hard to read. The numbers are really small. O old guys like me, man, uh, we have a hard time reading those, but there is the Dominguez. So congratulations on that one, Jared. If you don't mind, I'm going to take some pictures and be putting that on the Instagram page. Um, probably be putting it on the Patreon page and we are not done yet. We've got a real bear and we've got an auto to go. So here we go. Zach Brown band for the Brewers. And now I've, of course, screwed up where I'm putting all my cards. Um, so there's Zach Brown band. Um, just a huge, huge pull. That one is going to Scott B. Um, Daz Cameron. There we go. There's the Daz. That's going to the Tigers, which is James P. Then we've got another nice one, guys. This one's going to the Mariners. This is going to Rebel. This is a Julio Rodriguez. Another nice one here. Not sure how much these this one's going for, but Rodriguez, a really nice prospect for the Mariners. So that one is another sweet, sweet card. Definitely, definitely worth the price of admission. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I, I kind of like that line. Um, and then we have a first Bowman for the Twins, a Chris Valamont going to, who had the Twins? David H. So another first Bowman coming out of here. So that's a nice one as well. So Chris Valamont for the Twins. Fantastic. See ya. First Bowman separate. Then we've got three more packs to go, guys. All right. And our auto is going to be in here. And guess what, guys? Our auto is colored.
we'll keep that right over there. Um, this, this is like nerve wracking to open, um, especially when you know that's coming up. Uh, boy, that card could just be a monster. You have no idea. Um, that card could be a month. That card could be a month. Keep in mind, this was a $10 buy-in. Um, Nick Magical for the socks. So that one's going to Shalani. Not the sock he's looking to see, but Nick Magical, not a bad one to get. Um, we've got Alex Kirilov for the twins. David H. I wonder what that auto is going to be. All I know is it's orange and it's sapphire and it's probably awesome. Um, O'Neill Cruz going to the Pirates. That is going to Clark Sports Cards. I am like nervous. I am friggin' nervous. Um, and for the Yankees, Jared, if the Jason Dominguez wasn't enough, how about an Anthony Volpe? This card right here is probably going for my guess is uh, someone could give me a comp. I'm I'm just going to make a guess. I have not looked at how much Bowman uh, Sapphire is going for, um, only because I knew I was just going to sell these two boxes. Um, so I'm not invested in any of it. Um, however, I would bet you that this card is somewhere around forty to fifty bucks on a comp right now. Um, so the Anthony Volpe as well. Um, yeah, I would agree the second box is probably, I don't know, we had the Bobby Witt in the first one. Um, we had a great auto in the first one that goes for 180. Uh, Jason Dominguez here. Um, so here we go. Last pack before we get to the auto. Volpe's grandma buys his cards off eBay. Um, that is adorable. Okay, so here we go. Last pack before we get to the auto. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Oh, jeez. The Miguel Vargas first Bowman. Uh, Miguel Vargas is probably the one guy flying under the radar, but his cards are pretty valuable. Um, so this one's going to the Dodgers. Who had the Dodgers? That was Zach Freeburn. So this is another nice one for Zach. Uh, Miguel Vargas first Bowman Sapphire. This has just been really fun. Um, so here is another nice one. Then, not to be outdone, we're gonna go back to the Tigers. And we'll have, gosh, the Miguel Vargas. Yeah, this one, this box probably does be box one. Uh, for the Tigers, we've got a sweet Riley Green. Riley Green was a fifth round, fifth, fifth, uh, fifth overall. Yeah, fifth overall last year. Um, so a nice Riley Green for the Tigers. That's going to James P. There we go with the Riley. Uh, not done with the Yankees yet, apparently. Um, we've got Luis Gill. That is a prospect card. And for the Diamondbacks, I've got an Alec Thomas. All right, guys, so now we get to the moment of truth. We could have a life-changing card here. I don't know. Let's do this. We'll start here. Somehow Vargas is only 10 bucks at the moment. Extremely undervalued. Uh, yeah, that surprises me. Um, okay, so we'll just go like this. Owen Miller. That is for the Padres. Padres owner is Brewers 34 GC. Um, we've got an Andy or an uh, Andy Ashby, uh, Aaron Ashby. This is a first Bowman for the Brewers, which is going to Scott B. Another first Bowman. We pulled a lot of first Bowmans out of this too. Um, that's really nice. I like that that happened. Um, all right. We've got Ethan Hankins. Nice one there. And our auto going to be 
outnumbered out of 25. Um, okay. It is an Adam Kloffenstein. Now, this card is awesome for one reason. One, well, two. It is a first Bowman. Um, Kloffenstein is not in. This is his first card ever for Bowman. Um, and yes, and what I mean by that is he is not in the Bowman 2020 set. Um, he is only in Sapphire. And so this is the only place. So Sapphire was his first card. Um, and I don't even know why I'm doing this. I should probably just put Kloffenstein in the top loader. The Foghorn. Hopefully I still have another one in. Do that one more. Um, 100 point. Let's see here. Let's see, 130. I know I have more. I just don't want to. Um, 180. I should have probably dug for more. All right. Well, oh, there. It's in there. It's just at the very, very bottom. Hold on one second, guys. One second. I got all the big, thick ones. I don't have that. One, two, 60, 180. 180, 130, 100. I don't want any of those. Okay, well, this one. Aha! That one will do just fine. Okay, so, Hoffenstein is not in the... Um, he's not in Bowman 2020. He is not in... Um, Orange just sold for 330 on July 11th. So that was two days ago. Yeah, and the reason why is he is not in, this is the only place where you can get his card. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you can only get the autograph. If I'm not mistaken. So this is just a banger of a card. Um, now this is one, unlike the Dominguez, this is one I would sell. Um, sooner rather than later only because i mean maybe get it graded first but um in 13 games uh 64 innings pitch went four and four does have 64 strikeouts and 64 innings pitch with a 224 era and a 1.09 whip so he's the blue jays number 11 prospect um so yeah a very nice pitching prospect. Those numbers are really nice. Um, Kloffenstein, Kloffenstein. Um, beautiful, beautiful. This, by the way, I did not say who this was going to. This is going to the Blue Jays owner. Who is? Mr. Zach Freeburn. So Freeburn missed on his Dominguez in break one. But he did not miss on a 4 out of 25 auto for the Blue Jays. So just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What a nice card. And what a nice way to end the break. And what, a, I mean, what a beautiful auto there. Um, so this box here, guys, between these two cards, assuming that this one went for 330 and this one goes for 380 these two cards right here were $700. Now, I don't often say this, but for a $10 buy-in, we are sending... Not one, not two. If you count box one, um, we are sending a lot of people home with uh, at least four people with cards worth over $100. Um, and we're sending a lot of people home with cards worth over, well over 10 um, So thank you, everyone, that got into the break. I didn't even mention er earlier tonight that uh, we had Joe Adele looking over the break tonight. That's a Bowman first uh, from back in 2017. So we might have Joe Adele watch over another break because this break was really good. Four one touches. Um, all the, This card, by the way, is centered real nice. Maybe just a little heavy to the right. Um, overall, just a beautiful, beautiful break. Nice box of, of Bowman Sapphire 2020. So I'm glad I could get you guys in on this um, for the price that I could get you in on, I am totally out of it. I'm not going to be getting any more uh, because I am not gonna. I am not about to pay the 300 to uh, 50 to 400 bucks a box for these. But as you can see, if that is something you're interested in doing, if you pull a box like this, it more than pays for itself. That first box we bought, it, it that box paid for itself. So, um, Shalani, 
Thank you very much. Sorry we could not pull you the Robert RC. Um, it is just luck of the draw. But um, I do believe that we ended up with a very good break. Um, so let's see. Uh, oh, now I got to view the deleted message. Brewers34GC with a $5 super chat. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining in and thank you for being in the break. Uh, I think we pulled a lot of people some pretty decent cards tonight. So I'm really excited about that. Um, let's see. Uh, and then uh, I, I, I had to go up and, re and uh, review that one message that Zach had deleted. Um, so um, $5 super chat from Brewers34GC. Thank you very much for the generous light donation. Uh, Teresa, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I was glad that I could get this um, and do it at a $10 break. I went back and forth about how to do it, and I just said, you know, I know what the boxes cost me. Like, I'm not going to lie. They, cost, they they were 150 bucks plus uh, some shipping. And then I said, if I do a $10 break, I, I kind of know what I got to do, I, especially knowing you got one touches and shipping and you've got supplies and stuff and you've got time. Um, and I was like, I'd love to be able to do this for 10 bucks. And I was like, but if I did it for 10 bucks and just this, I wanted to make sure at least everyone got some cards no matter what. So I threw in a few of the Bowman uh blasters and whatnot. So I think it actually ended up being a really nice break for people. Um, and I really thank you guys for um, getting in and being so enthusiastic about it. Uh, I was glad that we could pull, I mean, I mean, if you take, you take just the two cards, the two cards from each of the breaks, you guys have also by doing this have given me at least a couple really cool because don't keep in mind, we've got the Xavier Edwards. This is about a hundred and eighty dollar card. The Bobby Witt, um, my guess is the Bobby Witt's probably around a hundred and eighty to two hundred as well. So between these cards, we pulled like a thousand dollars worth cards tonight. Um, so that's always awesome. Um, and I guess that's what happens when you open Sapphire. So maybe it is worth but paying three hundred and fifty bucks for Sapphire. Uh, Clark Sports Cards, thank you very much for the kind words. Um, I. I agree. This is a really nice break. Um, glad we could do it. Uh, there are plenty of other breaks that are coming up. Um, I think Donruss Optic is the next uh, big one, but I think we're going to, I I think depending on how everything lands next week, it looks like the next week of my life, depending on what happens with my wife. Um, I don't know if oh, you guys were all, were all here earlier, but she did have to get a coronavirus test today. Um, She's not been feeling well. She's not displaying all the normal symptoms that you all probably have heard about millions of times, and I don't need to rehash. She's just tired, uh, but tired to the point of it being kind of weird. So um, if in the event that she ends up testing uh, positive, I will probably, I'm not going to lie, I would probably suspend breaks at that point until I make sure that everyone in our house is like virus free. Um, so we'll see. I will let you guys know. Most of you guys are Patreons that are in this break. Um, so I'll let you guys know on that. I think everything will be fine. I, I just don't know. I have to wait for the stupid test results, which apparently we get in two days or so. So we will see. Um, but I would hate to be like, oh, here, guys, um, let's do breaks while I've got someone with the virus in the house. So um, I think we're fine, though. I think she's she works a lot and she may just have exhaustion. We'll see. But um, anyways, with that, really, really cool break. Glad we could do it for you guys. Um, and with that, guys, we are at 1130. So I think I am going to go check on my wife and um, we will be, I'll probably have a break announcement. I'm hoping to get back on the normal Thursday schedule. So I'll probably have a break announcement on Tuesday unless I get some weird news. Um, and on Patreon, I'll give you guys the update on that, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal one way or another. Um, and then uh, probably have a few more videos coming out. Didn't do that many this week, um, but definitely got some more videos coming out. And um that I got planned for next week. And thank you all that got into the one cent card promotion today too. That went really well. So you guys really fun break tonight. Thank you for joining. Um, I am going to sign off for the evening. You guys have a great week next week. Good luck on your personal pack rips. Be good to your friends. Be good to your family.